Good evening. My wife said it's okay to stream tonight. And I, I said, you know, I mean, I'd love it if you'd let me. And she's like, yeah, do it. You should do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So we'll do a couple hours. All right. Because I need it. I just, I just do. Okay. It's been, it's been a week. Not a week since we streamed, but it's been a hell of a week so far. It's, there's so much, so much stuff going on in my house. So much stuff going on that I, I can't record any videos for freak's sake. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. It's too noisy. Let me tell you about it a little bit. So, hi. Uh, for those who are, for those who want to hear a little story time. A few, a few months ago, I think it was like three, three months ago or so, I think it was. Uh, we got some water damage on our house, right? The toilet over flooded in the middle of the night. We still don't know why. And um, basically that bathroom completely flooded. It dripped through the floors you know, all the little areas that it can got down to the floor underneath, you know, the ground floor and it flooded that. And then it kept going and it got underneath and went all the way down to the basement bathroom as well, where it proceeded to soak the rug. And, uh, we had sitting water on that floor too. That happened like three and a half months ago. Okay. So we get this quote from this restoration company and stuff, and it's gonna cost us like eight grand to fix it all. So we file an insurance claim, cause you know, homeowner's insurance, right? Uh, and so that's, that's, that's a thousand out of pocket for the deductible, great. Except working with an insurance company is never as straightforward as, hi, we have problem. Can you pay us money so we can fix problem? It's never that simple. On and on and on the process went. And here we are, present day, three and a half months later, and um, we finally received the money that we need in order to facilitate the job, to fix it, okay? Well, the people who gave us the original quote, those restoration people, they, they did all the drying, all right? They did the drying stuff, all, all the you know, drying everything out. That was done as soon as possible, right? No payment up front. That was like, we gotta, we gotta dry this out so that there's no mold, right? You don't want mold buildup. So if you get water damage, you need to dry it as fast as possible. So that was done within 48 hours of the flood, but it's taken us this long to get the money for it. So, uh, finally paid them what we owe them and, um, didn't really care for their attitude, I guess I'll say. Didn't really care for the vibe we were getting from these guys. Decided we don't really want them to finish the work. We don't really want them to come back out and to pay them a ridiculous amount of money to fix everything. So, uh, one second, I I'll finish the story. I gotta close this door. This door is wide open and that's a problem for me. Hang on a second. Okay, so. So we, we, you know, we call around, we get different prices and quotes and stuff and we end up going with a guy who we have been working with for years. Um, on some rental properties and stuff to like handyman work, right? And everything that really needs done is stuff that is kind of handyman-ish to do. Um, it doesn't need some special company to come out and do it. These are things like retiling floors, um, laying in uh, baseboards and, and trim, uh, doing drywall. These are things that are not necessarily super advanced work. So. We went with we went with this guy instead. His price was substantially lower, which was nice. Um, and um, but 
uh, substantial, not that substantial, okay? I mean, a couple hundred dollars to me is pretty substantial. So um, in any case, um, so we're having him do it and it's just him and another guy, okay? And while he's, while he's coming out to do all these things, because it's just the two guys, the other company that was gonna do it, I'm, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and start mining while we're here. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you the stuff in the game and stuff in a, in a bit too. But um, yeah, I, I want to at least have this going because I don't have a whole lot of time tonight, so I want to have at least something happening. Uh, so I'm mining platinum right now. I might do some core mining tonight. We'll see. Um, I haven't decided yet, but we're, I'm definitely going to do some platinum stuff tonight. And uh, to get enough money, I almost have enough. I, I mean, I already have enough money for an anaconda. I already have enough money to, to build this thing, but I really want to make sure I have a lot of cash to do a really big expedition later. So um, I'm sort of, yeah, I'm sort of getting ready for that. And I'm not going to probably stream that entire expedition because that's just, I just, I just don't think I can. I just, it's just going to be, a, it's going to be a lot of work. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to stream the whole thing. But um, in any case, it's just the two guys, the other company that was going to come out and do it. You know, they gave us the confidence that they'd be able to do it, do the job and restore everything and, and build it out in, in in three days, right? And they were gonna come out with like six guys to come out and do that. They're gonna have it all done in three days, um, which is cool. That's that's an okay, that's okay to me. Um, but because we're not going with a huge company anymore, it's gonna take longer. And so um, every day this week, they've been out here from 9 a.m. to about 6.37 p.m. And um, that creates a lot of back and forth. So, you know, they, they're not the ones that had the original pictures, the original instructions, etc. So there's a lot of back and forth in terms of, you know, what we want here and here and here. And because we like this guy and it's right up his alley anyway, we thought... Let's go ahead and add some of these other projects that we've been wanting to have done for a while. And we'll just add those on. And I'm gonna, I'm making this a sort of uh, anniversary gift in some ways. Not the whole thing isn't, but I'm making it sort of an anniversary gift for my wife. Let's turn the night vision on because I think we need it. Uh, yeah, so basically, now we're getting uh, a camera installed outside because my house is designed in a really weird way where you can't actually see the driveway from inside the house. You can't see it. it, it I, if, you, if you pulled in my driveway, I wouldn't even know you're here. And that's bad. I, I don't like that problem. <laughs> I don't like that. So uh, we're getting a camera, a ring, like a ring camera installed out front so that we can get, you know, the ring will alert us when somebody pulls in and... Did I even prospect this? I don't think I did. I need to hit that with a prospector before I mine it. Otherwise I give up, I give up resources if I don't. Uh, so that one's already depleted, Never mind. I guess I already, too late. You gotta prospect him before you hit him or it won't spawn nearly as many resources and that's kind of a problem. I don't like that either. Ring camera is a good idea, yeah. So now we can get a little alert when people pull in on our phones and we can just check it really quick and see who's here. And uh, we like that a lot better. Um, also, you know, if anyone approaches the house from the driveway, of course, that's a blind spot for us. We can't see what the heck, they can't even see they're here. Um, and that's a bigger problem because when my kid is, you know, when my kid's playing outside and we live in a really safe neighborhood, so I'm, I'm not really, super uh, concerned with the following concern, but it's still a valid concern. My kid goes out and, um, you know, he'll go out and, and play with his friends and, you know, whatever his friend's house this is, but he'll, he'll get on his bike and off he goes and he leaves the garage door open. Garage door is wide open. So you could theoretically just walk up to my garage, take anything you want and walk away. And we would never know you were there because there's just no way to see unless we go outside or unless I open up that that garage access door. So anyway, ring camera, that's getting installed. Um, 
we've had this railing in our porch that's been like falling apart and uh it's a it's a concrete railing because the porch is not wood it's like a tile and so it's this concrete railing it looks really nice but it's super high maintenance and if i could go back and be there when they built it i would have chosen wood but because just because it's high dollar but uh, i'm cheap but uh the good news is we're adding all of that to the bill so we're basically just spending a lot of money on our house right now and at least most of the repair stuff is taken care of by insurance at least so and uh yeah so there's a lot of stuff happening in my house and as a result uh just i just can't record i can't do the things i want to do and by the time i get to the end of the day like this time of day i'm i'm just not interested in recording i'm not interested in making videos i'm not interested in things that take a lot of critical thinking skills I'm interested in chill uh, at this this hour of the night. I'm interested in just this. This is what I want to do at this hour of the night. Um, now, because I can't work like during the day, um, I have had a little bit of time to play around with some games that have been on my like, I don't know if I should do this list. I've been just dinking around with a, a few of them and stuff, trying to you know, see about learning them and everything and seeing if any of them are decent for content. So, I mean, I've been trying to keep busy with like thinking about, you know, the future, but present. Making videos is a little bit challenging just because it is not quiet here at all. It's never quiet here until right now. Um, so I I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just thinking that that's, that's why we're live right now. Uh, my wife said, fine, you know what? You didn't get a chance to do anything today. So go record. And I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> She's like, well, then stream then. Just go do something. I have to work tonight. So it was either stream with you fine folks or chill and watch Breaking Bad. I started watching that again. It's a good show. I like it a lot. Uh, so I opted to do this instead. I hope that's okay with most of you. I realized very short notice, I don't expect a whole lot of traffic tonight, but I'm hoping for, you know, I'll show you how much money we got. We got, we got a lot of cash and um, we're gonna end up spending it, but I, I'd like to try core mining tonight if I could. Core mining seems good. I and mean, we can do it for the VOD crowd, you know? As soon as I drop this off, this laser mining trip off, I think I'm gonna come back, we're gonna try to find a site with some muscovite or something and uh see if we can't do some core mining just to see what it's like i'm here so the audience isn't fine <laughs> what's up bluesy it's good to see you man did you uh you get all packed did you get all uh finished packing now you guys got more college than way more college than i'll ever want to do that's for sure Way more college than I want to do. Tonight's always a blast. Harry, it's good to see you, man. How you been? You got to be holding up. All right. You've been you've been digging into that snow runner. How you how you liking that? You getting you getting a whole bunch of like ex what's the end game like on that? I don't even know. Like in American Truck Simulator, it's like you get the best truck and then you just expand your fleet and you get just a ton of other drivers and stuff. You do, does it? Does the SnowRunner have anything similar to that? Does it have like an end game where you, you know, you make a fleet of some kind? Try this out. Good evening, Joel. How are you? We'll be packed for another week. I'm doing it slowly instead of all at once. Okay, I can dig that. I can dig that because then you you get time to think about it too. So you might, you know. My, well, a lot less chance of forgetting something, I guess, is where I'm going with that. I was going to shoot that at this rock, but if I had done that, this thing would come right in front of it, and that limpet would hit this rock instead. This thing has got a really weird rotation pattern, man. doesn't seem like it's 
it doesn't seem like it rotates in the middle you know it's it's almost like it's it's center of gravity if you will the the pivot point the axis whatever it's not in the center of the rock it's heaviest on one of the sides kind of thing which i guess makes sense i i could probably i bet i could design a lot of i could just go outside and grab a rock and it'd probably be like that so it's not a very good one Not a very good one. There's no valid collection targets, so I'm kind of wasting time by going slow here. But let's just start prospecting a bunch of rocks and see if we can't find something cool. Give me that one. Okay. Now I'll hit this one here. Let's see what we get in this one. Greetings and salutations, Keith. How are you? Good to see you. Anyone here that when it comes to core mining the asteroids that you want to look for either a popcorn shaped or a tear shape based on the ring type? Yeah, I, I sure. Do you do you play the game? Dragon Slayer, do you play this game? Now this has got subsurface. I was kind of hoping for Wow, oh, the platinum is only inside for the subsurface. I'm not bothering with subsurface. I don't even have the gear. Um, so I made a couple of changes to the Python. Um, well, it's only really one major change. So end of the last Elite Dangerous stream, right? We had, uh, I added a third laser, right? I got rid of the subsurface missiles and I added a third laser instead. And that's been great. It speeds up mining, it's working. Um, but when I initially did it, I did it with a 2D, so I had basically three 2D lasers. And I had two main issues with having three 2Ds. Um, the first is that the third laser would shut down because it, yeah, it's too much power. So the third laser would shut down right around. Oh no, oh no, go that way. Oh boy, get there. Oh, I hit right, accidental right click. Shit. Damn it. It has to rotate into the way, man. Um, anyway, uh, it was causing it to, to go down about 30% left in the rock. You know, the last 25 or 30%, I would only have two lasers anyway. Um, and uh, the other thing that was happening is that right around the time it would shut down, my heat buildup would be at about 80, 80 to 85%. So it was building up the heat a lot. Remember, we got some parts in here that, you know, are less, we have some parts in here that get hot, right? They're not as good. Our, our ship isn't as good as processing heat anymore as it once was, uh, mostly because we're just, you know, generating a lot more heat now um, with those engineered parts. So, uh, Anyway, it's getting about 80, 85% heat, and then the laser would shut down or 20% left. So I thought maybe two, three 2Ds, a little bit too extreme. So I switched the bottom laser that we added, I switched it to a 1D. And um, now what happens is the mining laser, it will eventually deplete to where it, it can't, like it'll eventually get to the point where it's only two lasers, but it takes a long time to happen. And the rocks are always fully mined before that happens. And so I don't need to worry about it. Uh, the other thing, as you can see, and this, that's what we have installed right now, as you can see, we don't really have a heat problem anymore either. So that's taking care of both of those problems for me, which is nice. You guys coming underneath me here? Yeah, you're getting... Wait, so you have like a whole bunch of platinum to get or what? Oh, it's way down there. Oh, let me come help you. I thought that was I thought that was shooting up. Here. There you go. Here you go, limpets. Might as well shoot this. See what's in there. Nope, I just look into things. Oh, okay. 
It's like... It's like something I don't do half the time. Uh, about the time I start looking into every detail on a game before I get to it is the time I stop playing that game. Uh, it, it, as soon as it becomes... As soon as it becomes this thing where it's like, okay, I know everything already, then I don't feel like I have anything to discover, you know? And if I lose discovery, then I lose the interest. But this, you know, I obviously haven't done everything in this game. I've actually been looking into that thing we were, people were talking about in the last stream. We were talking about uh, something called BGS. What was it? Wait, it's this rock, isn't it? I thought I had to hit this rock. Yeah, there's a good, there's a good platinum in this one. Come get it. So I've been looking at that BGS stuff, right? That background simulation stuff. And uh, that's pretty heavy. Like, people get really into that. And uh, I had no idea that was even going on. Like, I knew I knew the background simulation had to do with factions and stuff in the, in the galaxy. But I, had, I just didn't fathom not only do players... Not only do players influence it... But in addition to influencing it, they also, in many ways, make it their entire go their entire gameplay is about influencing it. I had, I just had no idea. So that's like a whole facet of the game that I had that I didn't know. Yeah, B BGS background simulation. Not sure if there's an end game, honestly, because there's so much to do on the original three maps you start with. Then there's like another seven DLC maps. Probably endgame is to do big contracts for each location. Been talking in James McKnight Discord and might start playing multiplayer with a couple of guys calling it Dog Squad Trucking. Hmm. No, dog. <clears throat> dog Sky Trucking. Nice. Hey, Steve. Why haven't you played No Man's Sky yet? I played a whole bunch of No Man's Sky. Nobody watched it, so I moved it to Twitch, and nobody watched it. <laughs> it's just not a game I can, I don't know. I, I played a whole bunch of it, though. I've got, yeah, I'm I'm like, what, like 100 and, I have like 250 million credits, and S, a, a, a rated fleet carrier. It's all decked out with many bells and whistles. I, I, I've played a lot of No Man's Sky, just not here. Just not here. Sometimes, sometimes games just don't work, you know? Sometimes they don't work. That's just the way it is. That's just the thing it is. Sometimes it don't work for me, even though it works really good for everybody else. Sometimes it works for me and doesn't work for everybody else. And in both of those cases, it's it's really hard to balance it but when both any of those things happen. No Man's Sky was No Man's Sky was this which, which which order did I say that in? No Man's Sky worked for me. Uh, it just didn't seem to work for you know anybody else. It's another one of those I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea why. I, I'd love to I'd love to tell you why, but I don't know. C couldn't explain it. Right. Oh, I also booted up um uh, uh, Terra Invicta. That's another game that came out recently that is gonna is gonna be coming out for everybody soon. Um and uh, that thing's a complicated bag. That's uh, that's from the makers of the Long War mod for XCOM. They made a they made a standalone game with their own lore and everything. And it is, it looks great. It looks really good. Uh, it looks very complicated. It's gonna take gonna take a while for me to really learn how to navigate that game. Whew. Grind to the end, grind to the end game, and you'll find the end. Grind, wait, what? Grind to the end game, and you find the end of the game. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. yeah. For this game, 
Challenge. I don't know what my end game is for this game. I've been trying to think about that too. Like, what's my condition of completion? I, I usually think about that with games that don't have an end. You know, a lot of the city builders and stuff that we play, they really don't have an end. Right? You know, we played Surviving Mars a bunch. I mean, Captain of Industries, even one of those games, which... Uh, I don't know. Like, I've had a, I've had quite a few opportunities to play that in the last two weeks. And I just... Um, I look at it. And then I look at Cartel Tycoon. And I play Cartel instead. You know? Like, I just... It's a good game. You know? It's, it's a good game. Comp Captain of Industry is a great game. But... I just haven't really had a whole lot of interest in, in playing it lately. And uh, I think part of it is just, uh, you know, inconsistency in schedule. And another part of it is just I'm having more fun with other things. I think that's the ultimate is just having more fun with other things. So it's hard to present, you know, really good content for something that you're just not really feeling really, like, strongly feeling, you know? So I'm kind of waiting for that, that punch moment to happen. It'll happen. I know it'll happen. I just don't know when. But I usually get punched in the face with interests at some point. You know, it'll just I'll just be looking through games and I'll go, you know what? I want to play that right now. And then I'm right back into the swing of things for the end. And that's happened a lot with like Prison Architect in the past, where I'll just like you know I'll lose interest in it for a little bit. A lot of times that happens when I'm just playing multiple titles. So yeah. This game is pretty darn, uh, it's pretty open-ended if you do the good community events where they give away the good stuff and then you have the deeply invested in the game. Yeah, I haven't had, I don't have enough time in the game to know about the community events and stuff. Like, I, I, I know about them to the extent that people have, have said that they exist, but I don't know about them as in, like, what they are and how to participate in them. I wouldn't consider myself, I wouldn't consider myself part of the elite dangerous community. You know what I mean? I'm a newcomer to the game who's having fun, but I'm I'm not like super you know, super serious or anything. I'm just I'm having fun though. And we're gonna try Star Citizen soon, so for all I know, Star Citizen will completely take the place of this and then I won't even think about this anymore. Or I'll try Star Citizen and go, well I'm aggravated at the bugs. Back to the Elite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what will happen. I guess we'll find out. What's up, Big Z? How you doing? About 100k light years one side of the galaxy to the other. Well, I intend to make that journey. Um, maybe not one side of the galaxy to the other, but um, actually that might be the journey. Maybe we take a journey to the outside of the galaxy, and then we go to the, we go to the other side of the galaxy, but we do it around the horn, you know? So we don't go through the middle. We stay away from the bubble. I would like to travel over 100,000 light years. That's my end game for this. I was getting to that. I think it brought me right in. Um, I would like to say that my end game for this is to do 100,000 light years of travel and exploration without ever going to a station. And I think the best ship to do that in is gonna be the anaconda and that's what we're gonna get i'm gonna buy that not i'm not gonna buy it tonight i don't think but i have enough money to do it i haven't actually showed people my cash yet here you go i'm loaded now by the way 515 million and uh that's all by mining and that's all with well shit. i guess i can't make videos because there's a freaking sander over here and there's hammering right there next to me and there's an electrical panel behind me that's in the process of being reworked because we're having electrical work done rigging up a charger for the car in the garage and so like i i can't record with all this madness i can mine though <laughs> so here we go that gets me that gets me some money so I got more than enough to fit that anaconda now. And so what I'm hoping to do is I want to do it all. I want to have an anaconda that can just do it all, man. And that's going to require some prep. We're going to we're going to get uh, the ability to land anywhere we want. I want to I think I want to have two SC two SRVs 
on it um, because, you know, we'll prob probably need to go planet side to get materials for synthesis. And, uh, you know, synthesis like making our own fuel and our own repair limpets and things like that. Uh, we're gonna have a repair station. Uh, I might even have two repair stations because what if something happens to the repair station? I need one repair station to, re to repair the other repair station. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the build's gonna be like, but uh, ideally I just wanna ship. I wanna ship where I really never have to go to a station again and I can do it all and uh, and still do it all while also being able to jump like 70 plus layers. And I feel like the Anaconda is the best ship for that. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that. About a fighter bay. So I thought about the fighter bay and then I also thought like, like it's fun, it sounds fun and I might do it just for the lulls, but it might be better just to have better shields. The fighter bay requires you to have a fighter as well. And um, I feel like the fighter bay and the weight of the fighter and all that, uh, you know, I feel like I'd rather just have more shields, but we'll see. Um, also, we're gonna have a big ass hood, a big ass fuel scoop, huge fuel scoop, because ain't nobody got time for that over and over again. I'm gonna actually kick the resources that direction. So that we can go actually i want to go that way i think yeah so i'll kick the resources that way so that i can uh, go that way so i'll just hit, i'll hit it here and that'll force the limpets to go forward and then when i move forward i'll be right underneath them or be right over top of them more shields yeah you know we're gonna we're gonna land on cool planets and we'll have to do surface excavations to get materials for synthesis uh you have to repair things when the integrity goes down right um we're gonna need to engineer our parts like crazy for the for the journey we're gonna and we're gonna discover so many things we're gonna get our i'm gonna get my name on so many things in this journey because i don't i mean i don't know how many people have done this journey but it's a It'd be, I would say almost borderline impossible on the probability that somebody takes the exact same route I'm gonna take to do it. You know, like there's just too many choices. So I, I think uh, we're gonna discover some cool things doing that. And it's just a long exploration, but you know, every system we go to will be an adventure. And we're gonna get way so far out that the jumps are super spread out and then we're going to eventually get it to where you have to jump 60, 70 light years. And you may not be able to scoop. So what do you do, right? Which is what I was going to ask people. If you can't scoop a star, can you use engineering mats? Can you use engineering mats to make fuel? Like if you're in a pinch? Or is that only for the SRV? You know? Take a fighter, it's after flying a conda, it's nice to turn every now and then again. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Shoot, accidental click. I thought it'd be cool to, if like, if I had a fighter, what I would probably do with it is, um, I'd probably take it down to the surface, you know, just to get closer to the surface on some planets to take a look at them. Maybe there's some cool caverns and stuff that I can fly through. And, and that's probably it. You know, I wouldn't really need it for fighting per se, but you know, I would think of the Anaconda as like my capital ship. And then the little ship can be used to like go down to the surface in places, you know? I just wish I could get out and walk on my feet. That's the only problem I have with it. It's like, there's no way to get out and walk with your feet unless I have Odyssey, which I think I probably need to get Odyssey before I can really do this well. You know what I mean? Like this, this 100,000 journey. If I don't do it in Odyssey, then I don't know. Am I doing it right? I don't even know if I'm doing it right if I don't do it in Odyssey. Uh, I feel Odyssey incoming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying full price for that, so I'm not doing it unless it's on sale. But if it's on sale, then I'll do it. If it's on sale. All right. Make it half off, and I'll do it. Prospect 
Although I hear a lot of people complain about the the uh, the user interface with that, isn't it? Um, yeah, like I, a lot of people have have said that they don't like how apparently it changes the UI. You know, is that is that thing? Does it change the UI? People can't. I think I'm heading towards the planet, right? That's my. Or I'm trying to reorient myself, and I think towards the planet is the re is the direction I'm going. Maybe it was away from the planet. Let's go towards it. Yeah, we'll, we'll go over here first. Let's see what's up with this. What happened? The limpet hit the front of my ship. Went tumbling. <laughs> Poor limpet. Here, this time I'll shoot and then not nose down immediately. How's that? <laughs> there you go. Sorry, little buddy. Just... I tell it to go up and then I nose down to go this way. It's like I can't go... I can't go through the nose. I don't remember which way I was going, to be honest. I know there's no valid collection targets, but... Honestly, I usually bring more limpets than I need anyway, so whatevs. Let's go this way. I gotta get to a point where I'm like pretty sure there's a super low chance that I've actually done the rocks before. I'm thinking this is my, yeah, I'm thinking this is right here what we're gonna do. The little ones tend to have platinum a lot more often than the big ones. I'm just noticing that. I mean, it's probably just coincidence, but I, I tend to notice that the little rocks, there's a higher percentage of platinum in them than, like, consistently than the big rocks. So I might, I might start just looking at all the little ones from now on. Accidental click again. Man, I gotta stop doing that. That's right. I wanted to, ex I wanted to check that out anyway. Steam reviews to say otherwise. I can't go by Steam reviews, man. Steam reviews are... I mean, sure, if you get, you know, if you get tens of thousands of people and it's like a mostly negative thing, then yeah, they're probably onto something. But if it's mixed, I tend to not pay attention to it as much on mixed reviews. Because that just becomes, you know, I feel like in a lot of cases, my preference is good when others is bad and vice versa, you know? But if there's a lot of reviews saying it, like, it, like you know, five or six, I think anything over 10,000 is, a, I could probably get behind the fact that it's, they're probably right. <laughs> I don't know. Ignore me. I'm full of shit. Uh, I already, yeah, I already prospected that one. There is some platinum in this. I guess I could, I could maybe get this platinum for now. Yeah, there's nothing in that. Let's go maybe that way. I'm supposed to go towards the planet though. That's what I said I was doing. Nice frame, Charlie, I like it. Hey PJ, how are you? Did you catch up yet, PJ? Loving the series, mining, I'm still on episode five, just jumping on to say hi and show my support. Also don't forget to like the video. I need like a hundred PJs. Like a hundred thousand PJ Poochies. If I could have, I think, even if I just had a thousand PJs, I I would I could do this full time. You know what I mean? Like if I just had a thousand of you, this could be my full time job. That'd be great. I'm 
We need to find more PJ Poochies. Uh, I have a tendency to ignore Steam reviews that have less than 10 hours of playtime. Oh yeah, there's that too, right? You have this mass wave of negativity and they have like a half an hour of playtime. Okay, then just refund it, you know? Why do you have a half an hour of playtime and you haven't refunded it, but you leave a negative review? You know what I mean? You're not doing the in the internet. You're, you're not doing it right. You have more than a thousand people like me. They just lurk, I think. Uh, I hope so. I hope you're right, man. I hope you're right. Uh, I don't know. I'm dropping the... Kind of dropping the whole professional vibe. And just trying to have fun lately. And... Uh, it's working out. Working out for me anyway. I'm having a, I'm I'm having a blast. Oh Harry, I think you got to refresh, man. I hear there's I hear there's more than two likes. There's got to be more than two likes. I know I'm one of them. So if I'm one and you're one, then everybody's slacking. Man, I'm having terrible luck finding platinum today. This is really slow. I should be half full by now. I just can't find rocks that have it. What's going on here? Gotta look for the little ones. I gotta go after the little rocks. Those are the, those are the ones that matter. Good things come in small packages. That's what they say. I just gotta shoot all the little ones. Get in a little closer. Slight downward angle so that the shards go underneath me. See all the limpets? They just go down, grab them, they go up. See that? Huh? That's not bad. Want to see how the limpets work? Here you go. See? You just shoot the rock and they go do things. Huh? And they bring them into the cargo bay, right? Here, let's go get a rock that we can actually mine. Uh, let's just try this one right here. We'll, we'll try it on an actual rock so you can see how it works. People haven't seen it yet. Like, what, what are limpets doing exactly? Well, there you go. Now you'll know. No valid targets. Right, well that one's a, that one's a disappointing disappointing one. Try this one. Alright. And show me the money. Wow, that's further away than I thought it was. I thought you were a little one. Having a Finding Nemo moment right now, you know? Hey, little guy. Oh, oh, big, big fella. I'm not, that's not a big fella. That's not a little fella. It's just really far away. All right, we'll try it here on this one. You can see how this thing works. How efficient we can be. All right, here we go. We'll try this out. Go get it, limpets. Go, limpets, go. Probably need to go closer, don't I? Oh, how do I... Oh, do I not have the ability to... I can't go forward. Oh, I see. It won't let me do it while I'm in this view. Fair enough. I can't I can't actually go forward in this view. Oh. 
not the right not the right thing then i need to be closer to the rock Gotta go to bed though, I'll try to catch up on the next stream when I get to this part in the VOD, I'll just put a smile on my face, hey. See you, PJ. Yeah, there wasn't gonna be a stream today, so I imagine if anybody's following the VODs, they'll just have an extra VOD, but if anyone's like trying to follow live, they might be a little bit... I don't know, I hope they're not mad, but... I mean... You know, it's still there after afterwards, but... It was either this, or you don't see me until Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, although, it sounds like, it sounds like it's possible I could stream Saturday night. Saturday's a very busy day. I have my, I have my referee seminar on Saturday. Hockey season's starting up. And, uh, that's, you know, that's like an eight hour day. So... But I, I start really early in the morning and I get back around like, I don't know, I get out at four. So I'll probably get back to my house at around five. It's an hour away from me. Uh, so. I'll try these rocks over here. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. Get that little one right there. A really little one. If it is, in fact, a little one. It has nothing in it. Okay. So we just want to... We're just going to mine this one. All right, so just go like this. I want to see him in action. Go get him, Limpets. Go get him. I'm not angled down. Normally, if you angle down, then the the pieces will uh, go under your ship. Yeah, kind of like that. I just like watching them. Look at all these little things. So busy now. So useful. You just go grab them and bring them in. How many games a week will you be officiating? It'll keep you in shape for sure. It'll vary, but uh, currently it looks like the pattern is about three. Two to three games a week. Um, it does depend on lots of different factors. Um, right now, there's enough adult league games. There's enough adult league games to keep me at at least two a week, which is kind of crazy. Um, that's before kids get into it. So I imagine there's going to be plenty of work. And I I suspect I will be losing some weight, which is good because I, I need to. Yeah. How am I supposed to impress the ladies if I don't have the physique? what I told my wife. She's like, I know, you better get on it. You gotta impress those ladies. I think she's just being selfish. Shoot this one too. How full is our cargo hold now? Shoot that way. Uh, what are we at? We're at 205. Getting there. It's not 205 platinum. It's, you know, just getting to the point where I'm going to have to start discarding my limpets. So. Been hearing most ladies been digging the dad bods a lot. They just, they just say these things. They don't mean it. What they really want to see is us pulling a stroller or pushing a stroller. That's what they want to see. 
They want to see a guy who's committed to family. No. Flex your ED ride. Ladies love a sweet ship too. It's good that you uh, you said that last part because <laughs> ED could mean something completely different, and I'm sure women are not necessarily into that. Did I get this one yet? I'm gonna look at it. I got more than enough limpets. Let's do it. Mr. Different has arrived. How are you, sir? So good to see you. Also, I don't know if anybody noticed, but I did a, I did a thing with the paint job as well. See the the new paint job? I did a, I did a thing. See, I've got like gold, right? Black and gold sort of arrangement. There's the two big lasers, and then uh, trying to figure out how to work this camera. Wow. Uh, and there, and there's the little laser right there. Little mining laser. There you go. Limpets. How we doing? Huh? There you go. Get him. Get him. Bring him back. So they're so structured. Why do they have to go so far underneath me before they bring it into the cargo hold? Why do they have to go all the way down there? Like you can just, you know, like you don't go all the way down there to leave. You know what I mean? Like that's just weird pathing, isn't it? You don't need to go that far down. It's very inefficient. I feel like that's. I feel like you could be more efficient. You know what I mean? Ah, hmm. uh, I got lost again. Which way was I facing before? We were looking at the planet before, but I'll just shoot that one. I've got lots of limpets. I only brought 140 with me this time, and uh, the last trip I did, I only brought 125, and I was still ejecting some. So. It's, it's it's good to have more than you need, you know? It's better to have to eject them than not have them, but, you know? This time I think I'm gonna use more, quite a bit more, because I had to prospect a lot more than last time. Last time I got really lucky too. Like It was, seemed like every rock had a lot of platinum in it. on this side of it if the if the rock rotates into the limpet as it goes to collect it it'll take out the limpet it'll actually destroy the limpet in that rotation so gotta find a way to get the resources to where the resources are not going to get hit by the rotation what's up jazz players might have drained those rocks no this is solo I don't know if I'll ever play open, to be honest. We'll have plenty of open play when we get into Star Citizen. That's just like always, always on, always, you know? I think it's probably impossible that we don't... Like, I, I bet it's impossible that we don't see other players, like, right away. You know? Because there's not that many locations. So... You know, you're gonna... Yeah, that's what I mean. There's not that many locations. Programming 218, 219. I can start dumping a little bit. That's okay. We'll do it. It's 
not a lot of platinum, but it's something. I'll just do it. The reading on the left is what the next rock is. Not this one. This one was a little bit better. C Big Z, thanks for coming out. Appreciate you. What size limpet controller? I have a 5A and a 3A. That was back when I had two lasers, so probably should have like two 5As now that I have this extra laser, but I don't care. It's it's fine. You know. Uh, we're gonna do core mining next. So we'll take this in and then I'm gonna look for I'll look for some either of vo some void opals or some some muscovite. I think probably muscovite. I know where a muscovite hotspot is, but I have no idea if it's reachable because this is a long time ago when I was exploring to find them. So, so I might I might cheat and look up where the nearest one is, but we'll see. Depends on where the system that I know of anyway. Depends on where that is. And for all I know, honestly, there's another gas giant really close to here. It may just have them. It, it can probably just stay here. I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah, I heard void opals can be lucrative too, but well, let's let's see. What what are they currently selling for on Anara? We can maybe go by that. Like if I wanted to find the best place to sell void opal, current according to my current location, the best place to sell them. I mean, they sell for a lot. Like. Actually, there's a place 240 light years from our current location that'll buy them for nearly a million a piece. That is nuts. So maybe we'll go Void Opal. <laughs> what's my, what's Muscovite doing? Oh my God. What does Muscovite sell for? I mean, close. It sells to, uh, it, it, yeah, about, mm. Like six high six hundreds, low seven hundreds. There's one location sell, uh, buying it right now for eight forty four. So I mean, both of those are really viable. You know what I mean? Both of those sound really good. I don't believe they're found in the same rings though. I have to double check that. I thought anyway when I was looking into it, I thought it said void opals more likely to show up in icy rings. I don't know how Muscovite does that or not. I, I haven't looked that up yet, so. Like I said, I haven't really looked into core mining as much as far as like what resources and where to get them. Um, Cause I knew that platinum was gonna be my money maker for the, the early game. Just shoot it. Open's not as bad as you fear. What's the worst that can happen if a few pixels get destroyed? No, I don't think it's bad. I just think there's no reward for it. It's the risk reward proposition. There's I get nothing out of it. It's it, there's all risk and no reward. It doesn't make sense to me to go into it. Nothing nothing good could possibly happen from having another player know where I'm mining and, and be able to go and come and visit me. There's no positives to this. So, I just I choose to not take a road that has no positives. Basically. That's the state of the game, you know? If Elite Dangerous would do some things that encourage players to play in open more than than solo, I currently don't know of anything that's really encouraging me to do that. As a new player. I mean, sure, maybe experienced players have these events and things that they can do, but... As far as I'm aware, all the community events that Frontier puts out can be completed in solo. So, I mean, if they would make them exclusive to open, then okay, but... Is there anything that people can do in open that you can't do in solo? Aside from, you know, parting up with friends, so I guess that's private group. Let's let's put private group and solo in the same in the same bundle. Let's put them together in this in this example. Is there anything that open can do that solo slash private group cannot. Nothing important, as far as I'm aware. 
There doesn't seem to be a reason to do it. Which is a good and that's, that's like the pros and cons of, you know, trying out Star Citizen later is that there is no solo. You are in the persistent world and that is that. So deal with each other or don't. <laughs> and in that case, fine, you know? In that case, fine. If Frontier wants to get rid of solo play, well, they're going to have to do a lot better in their fragmentation of their PC audience then. Because they're about to have three completely separate clients, so... You can't do that if you're going to force open. Not really, anyway. There's no point in it. Didn't I shoot this with a prospector? I thought for sure I shot this with a prospector. Maybe it's over here. No? I could have swore I shot a prospector at you. Wait, there. Shit. <laughs> I'm just going to fling it that direction and hope it doesn't hit the rock. Oh, did I get it? Oh, I think I got it. Oh, how did I do that? It's like, you just, I just feel like I just did an alley-oop. <laughs> and it went in the hoop instead. That's right on the money too. Bang, hit that rock. Tell me what's in there. Oh, it's really far away. It, aw, it would have been better if that was really good platinum, but alas, there is not any good platinum. No good platinum in it though. I'm still proud of my shot. I'm taking credit for it. Shoot that one. I gotta shoot more prospectors. I'm filling up my cargo hold. There, do that one. Okay. Now we'll come over here and shoot this rock for a bit. That's a good one. That one I just shot's a good one. Forced open? Never happened. I know, right? I know. If they, if they forced open, then I would play open. You know? They would just lose a lot of their player base. Always a bit of a dry spell between gold rushes. There was a time when smuggling bio waste was the money maker. That's just the standard economic. That's just the standard model of economics. You're going to have, you know, peaks and troughs always. If it's a player driven economy, that's bound to happen. Things get too hot, they have to cool down. Things get too cold, they have to heat up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Things get way too hot. You have to take action to cool them down. You have to fundamentally attempt to kill the economy to prevent it from absolute catastrophe. Am I hitting too close to home now? <laughs> Shoot that one. About the time it starts telling me there's... Whoa! No platinum. Moving on. Where is it? This one? That one. Uh, it's got some osmium. I know this one's high platinum, so I'm going to hit it, but the other one's got osmium, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, let's do it over here. I want uh, limpets to get destroyed. Limpets getting annihilated. It's bad for business.
Although I kind of have to eject some anyway, so meh. What's over here? Anything worthwhile? I'm not going to bother with Osmium. It sells for like 60% of what Platinum does, so. At least at the place I'm going, so. I'm not going to bother with it. Platinum is so good. So good. That nice, even, steady, very reliable sell price in the booming areas. You know? Although I have no idea where I'm going to sell it because it's been two days since I've mined, so. No. A day. Yeah, I mined yesterday. That's when I made all my money was yesterday. Because it felt, it sounded like there was a jackhammer going off in my house most of the day. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but it was a lot of consistent banging. And then uh, having to tell, having to go up and answer questions and check on things. And, and then keeping the kids out of the way. I have to basically play goalie. Goalie with the children. All right, go Olympics, go. Cash is far too easy now. It took me a year to get where Charlie got in a week. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. You, you, you seem you seem quite upset about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're upset about that. If it would have taken me, you know, I, I probably, honest, to be honest, if I wouldn't have progressed this fast, I probably wouldn't be playing. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably why they did it. it you know, you have a declining player base. You have to spice it up for new players. As I don't know, you can call it a catch-up mechanic if you want, I guess, but. There's just certain things that you can do to make a lot of money. And back when you were starting out, there probably wasn't a whole lot of guides that said, hey, this is the most optimal way to make money. And, you know, it's when you have guides like that, that can show players how to optimally do things before they even boot the game up, before they even install it. Obviously, they're going to have an easier time than you did without the guide. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's always going to be that way. That's just the way it goes. Asteroid scan complete. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. All right, now I'm low on limpets, but that's okay. Oh, I don't want to go too far away. They have resources. I want them to go get them. And bring them back. It's not a lot of platinum. I have lots of, like, I, I can, you know, I can find better rocks. Is that a ship? Oh, it's a limp, it's a canister. Oh, it's a limpet canister. Okay. It looked like a ship. I was like, wait a minute. That's not coming up. That's not showing up on my radar. You know what I mean? And we had to hyperspace through the snow uphill both ways. I mean, yeah, yeah, that, I mean, I mean, kids have it way easier today than I had it, you know, like, and I had it probably way easier than my parents' generation had it, and, you know, their generation had it easier than their genera than their parents' generation, I mean, that's, that's called progress, that's a good thing, you know, we want, we want to make life better for our kids, we want to make life better for the next generation, and it's, for games like this, which are meant to be around forever and trying their best to keep it to, you know, a thriving player base for years, a decade, you kind of have to adopt a similar mentality. You have to keep things fresh and you have to keep things, you know, you can't have people who had to work, you know, if you had to work five years to get, you know, the fleet carrier or the anaconda or whatever, you're not going to get a whole lot of thriving ecosystem and a new player base and therefore the money to continue development unless you allow those new players to catch up 
you gotta allow those new players to catch up, you know? That's the way it's supposed to be now. Exactly. That's the way it's supposed to be. I want my I, I, I will I will make my kid. Um my 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 kid will have at least one student loan. My my wife disagrees, but this is one thing I will put my foot down on it if she allows me to. I like how I said that. I, he will have at least one student loan. He will understand debt and he will have a value. Uh, he will understand the value of education and all that stuff. If he decides to go to college, he will get one. And then after he gets the one and he believes he's gonna have to pay it off, he believes he's gonna have to get in debt for school, etc. Then we will allow him to understand that he doesn't have to pay for his entire education, that we will assist him. And we absolutely will. My parents could not help me with my education. My parents were almost no help at all with my college education. My mom started, uh, FAFSA wasn't even a thing. That didn't happen until my sophomore year. Second semester freshman year, sorry. Yeah, so private loans were the only were the only thing you could do when I started college. And you know, it's the very first thing we had to do because we knew we weren't we don't have a lot of money. We have to get we have to get money for school. So private loans were the only solution. And they had this wonderful introductory APR of eleven and a half percent. Wonderful. And we found another one. We would later find another one that had a better rate at nine point one percent. So yeah. That's great. But my mom was going to help me with that by paying my interest payments while I was in school. So she was going to cover my interest. If, as long as I took care of the principal, I was going to be solid. That plan lasted three months. Because good old Great Recession happened. And, you know, the whole housing market collapse and all that stuff happened whatever it was in 2008 you, if you if you know you know if you're old enough to know you know that stuff happened and uh well they were both laid off pretty much in the same time like they were laid off about a month apart both of them and so you know not a whole lot we could uh oh shit i'm out of limpets Quick, start shooting rocks. I would indiscriminately... I've been doing too much prospecting and not enough shooting. Go get it. I hope there's platinum here. <laughs> Go get the platinum. I still have some limpets that are just lingering outside my ship. Let's put them to work. There's nothing else in this rock. We must go to another rock. We will not know what's in it beforehand, but we will shoot it anyway. It will be glorious. Glorious rock. This one. We will shoot this rock and hope that they fill it. Okay, at least they're going to spring to life with that one. They're only gathering osmium and platinum. That is the only resources my limpets are told to get. I'm not even gathering painite because it doesn't really pay at all. And compared, compared to Platinum, it's not helping me. Um, if I dedicate my hold to Painite and go to a Painite hot place, then that'd probably be different. But since I'm focused on Platinum, the places that are hot with Platinum are not are never really hot with Painite. So I guess I just choose to go 1-1 one, one instead of mixing and matching. No, 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 expi no expiring. No expiring allowed. Just go get the resources and bring them back. I think. Go get them. There's only one left. I have one limpet working. Oh, that poor limpet. There's only one. I'll just let it. I'll let it try its hard out. Yeah, I got carried away there. This is what happens when you don't have limpets. Hey, wait a minute. I can make limpets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This We'll just use synthesis, right? This is the kind of thing we would do on the anaconda if we ever needed to, to do something. We can make them. 
I'm sure we can. I remember seeing this. Synthesis. Give me limpets. How do I do that? See? Engineering materials. Now we have three limpets. Great. Let's go get lucky with uh, the prospector. I'm going to I'm going to say this one right here. I'm going to say this one right here is my lucky rock. You're going to have platinum in you. I just know it. I'll have you telling me platinum is here and then I will have the other two to collect. Come on now. You got this. I believe in you. You know, there's a little bit, but not enough. I want to find a good rock, resynthesis, and then hit that rock with everything I got. Find a better one. Let's try this one. Come on. That's got to be the one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner. Asteroid scan complete. You know. Okay, we should have three limpets after this. That'll be enough to scavenge all the platinum out of this rock, and then that's it. Hold at maximum capacity. All right, good. Forty-four percent, good enough for me. Material content is high, so hopefully I have a lot of stuff in there. Right up into it. Let's go get it. Go limpets, go. Ninety six percent on the osmium, really? I might shoot indiscriminate rocks or random rocks. I'm gonna shoot indiscriminately. There you go. Just to see if I can get one tiny fragment of osmium somewhere. Or maybe my cargo hold fills up with tons of platinum. And uh I won't need to. I'm just gonna lower myself a little bit here. So I'm closer to the, I'm gonna be closer to the fragments. I know they're right underneath me, so. There, got platinum, it's all full. All right, we'll dump this osmium because that platinum is worth more. There we go. 224 in the cargo hold, plus a full cargo capacity for the refinery. We are done. Okay. So, now I need to see whether or not... Uh, I need to see uh, whether or not my usual selling place is... Whether or not my usual selling place is still a good selling place, or if I need to go somewhat else this time. Plat. Prices change over a day, you know? All right, who's the best selling price now? Okay. Okay. Uh, that's pretty far away. I don't think I can make that system. I know what system that is. I don't think I can make it, but we'll see. Come on, I'm clicking the box. Let me type it. Nah, nah, nah. Wiggle, wiggle. 
Thank you. K P O N I U go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's too far away for me to reach. 209. Yeah, it's yeah, that's a lot. I don't think I could. I can't even economy that. Um, so a couple of times I've managed to go economy about half the way and then I could go fast the rest of the way. But that system's too far. It's a shame that they're they're paying 292k for it there. Um, so that kind of sucks. What about Summerland? I wonder what Summerland's gonna do right now. How far away am I from Summerland? It's always sunny in Summerland. Oh, I don't have a permit there. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I've been to Kamazats before. That's a decent price right now. And I know I can reach it, which is a that's a benefit knowing I can reach it. But the price is kind of old. Not if I go to Braun, though. This is. I went to Anders Dock the first time. This is a lot closer, and I can make it there on my fast route. So we'll go to Kamazats this time. We're going to be looking for Braun installation this time, though. The price is seven hours old, so it should be all right. It's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a further trek though. To, um, it's fourteen hundred light seconds away from the star. To where my us my new usual place is just two hundred and eighty or something, so it's really close to the star. But oh well. No valid collection targets. All right. Bye, limpets. They can only travel 300 meters per second. I'm surprised they're keeping up with me here. I think they are slowly falling behind. Oh, well. Let's go. Before you head out into the black, swing by Epsilon Indy. Great view there. Epsilon Indy. Why does that sound familiar? Is that the place I almost crashed? I mean, I did crash, but I didn't blow up. Is that the place I almost blew up? Cannot comply. It's okay. Too close to the star anyway. Oh, we got somebody behind us. He's coming in fast, too. Wow. What a dick. And above us? Did you, like, go through the star, you cheater? Hi. Oh, there's two of them. Two of them. Because I keep suggesting it. No, is that the same place we've already gone? I know I, know I went someplace else because... There was a place I went to because people said it was a good view, and uh, I crashed really hard because it's high gravity and it's really close to the star. Frame shift drive charging. But I don't remember if that was it. Yeah, we'll visit it. I mean, we're our, my exploration, my anaconda exploration is. You know? It's all about seeing cool things. That's what it's all about, is seeing cool things. Also, you may have noticed, uh, if you haven't if you haven't noticed it already, or a keen eye may have spotted it, I added a Saturn bobblehead to the ship. You know, little bobble token or whatever on the dashboard there, right above the, the radar indicator. Because this ship is all about going to places with rings and 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 mining and stuff with places with rings. So I thought it was fitting for the ship. And plus, Saturn is my favorite planet. So favorite looking planet. Honestly, I really don't know a whole lot about Saturn, but I just like the way it looks. So don't think so. Granted, I've not seen every minute of your streams. I mean, is it is it really close to a star? Have really high gravity? 
And if you park on the day side, you can just look up and you're just like, is, it, is that what it is? Like really close to a star? If it's not that, then I probably, then I haven't been there. Because I'm pretty sure it was, that was what was recommended before was a place that was like that. But whether or not your place is like that, I don't know. Uh oh, we got, we got company. Charging. Potential company. Two, two bogeys. And they're approaching and they're getting closer. And we are out of here. Two, one, okay, I'm looking for a place called Braun Installation, 1458 light seconds away, and I have no idea which direction to go, so we're going to do the only thing I, I know how to do. We're going to go like this. At the risk of it all, we're going to go like this. Braun. This. Go. Where is it? Flip around. Let's go. I don't like sitting still. Need to get my speed up. All right, let's go. How much you want for the plat? Um, so the place we're going now, it was the price was reported seven hours ago. Uh, but the price should be uh, at least seven hours ago. It was two eighty five k per. 285,000 per. So it should be pretty close to 60 million, 62 million ish uh, for the platinum in the hall, in the hall. So plus plus the stuff in the refinery will add another million and a half. Plus the osmium will add probably another million and a half. So it should be about a 64 ish million haul uh, total cargo. Assuming of course I get the brawn installation without being interdicted, which you know, it looks like I've got people behind me, so that's fun. Whether they're following me or not, I don't know. But if they're coming after me instead of the station, then they'll most likely catch me because I have to slow down for the station and they don't have to slow down to get to me. Although, I don't know how that works. Like, I, I've never tried to interdict another person before, so I don't know the rules. And I also don't know whether or not the AI has to follow those rules. So I really don't know how, how it works. I just know that I have to avoid that interdiction. I guess I don't really have to. I mean, I could sit here and then he could try his hatch breaker thing while I'm charging, right? And then my point defense takes out his hatch breaker and then I just, I get to go to, you know, I get to go back to Super Cruise. That maybe that's the way it would go, but I've never stopped to check or to try it out yet. So. Maybe I'll do it in my Explorer once. Or my Cobra, a really cheap ship, you know? I'll just get like like I don't know, one platinum or something. I'll buy I'll buy a platinum off the market, put it in my cargo hold and then just intentionally get interdicted just to see what happens. That way, if they want to fight and take me out, at least the rebuy on that is like, what, 50K on a Cobra Mark III? I think we made it. Yeah, good. Okay.
Oh, I think I hit the lights. They really shouldn't have tall lights on the, on the side that people approach from. It's a really bad design. Tall lights like that shouldn't be on this side. Okay. Let's see what I can sell this for. It's a seven hour old price, so hopefully it's close, but maybe not 285 anymore. Uh, we're at uh, 282. Okay, not bad. So that'll be 60.4 for that part. And then we get um, the Osmium. That's another 2.4. And then the Platinum that was in the refinery, it has been refined while I was selling. There's an extra six. That's an extra 1.7. So yeah, like 65 million or so uh, on the haul. Pretty good. And now we're at 580, because I've done that several times. So now it's about trying to figure out how in the world to core mine. So first I'm gonna just refuel things. I can't buy limpets here, doesn't look like, so I won't. But I can always buy limpets well, I probably should go to another station to buy them, like originally buy them, because I don't know if I'm going to the same system. I don't think I am going to the same system as I was before. Um, so my system for Muscovite, excuse me, uh, my system for Muscovite Trying to find my file. I had a file with these things written down. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can find something in the void opals instead. Can you just make them instead? Make the limpets? Yeah, but it takes engineering resources to do that. And like, I don't want to blow through all of them. I'm going to need them on the trips and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to blow through them. Uh, okay, so can't find my file. I had these written down. Damn it. Where'd it go? Don't do this. Don't be that way. I really don't want to like go to Anara and, you know, find where people mine things. I don't want to do that. I want my system. Where is it? Dun, 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 dun. Are you just saving the mats for emergencies? I mean, yeah, like, so what I want to do, and I won't stream the whole thing because this is a lot, but it's just going to be my own, something that I'm doing myself kind of thing. We'll stream it casually and stuff to give updates and whatever on where we're going. But um, I would like to do a out in the black, if you will, voyage that is a minimum of 100,000 light years um, long. So, you know, like I'll, I'll, we'll travel at least 100,000 light years, um, which is, I've been told it's like one, one end of the galaxy to the other in a straight line. Um, if I'm gonna go one end of the galaxy to the other, then I'd have to first go to the edge of the galaxy. So that's gonna be travel time. And then I think I'm gonna go to the other side, but I'm gonna take like a around the horn sort of approach to it, trying to stay away from the bubble. Basically, I just wanna survive outside the bubble and to, to make resources for repairs and gathering more resources ahead of time and exploration stuff. And if anything happens, who knows? I won't be able to go to a station. So like if, if I do get interdicted or somebody shoots my ship and I get damaged, I, I mean, I'm gonna have to repair that and the repair limpets cost resources to make them if, you know what I mean? So I don't know how much of that I'm gonna need to do. And so uh, I just like to have as many mats as I can to, to keep that, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so should I look for, should I look at Void Opal? We do void instead. Bum, 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 bum. So my void opal here. I'm looking at, I don't know if this is even close. This may not even be very close. This is my system for void opal. Uh, 
it's not it's not overlapping but there's multiple hot spots so maybe it'll be fine uh, i don't want tight voidable um col 285 uh sector vy q c519 how far away are you granted i can get here that's not that far. It's 134 light years. That's not bad. Um, the trick is getting fuel once I'm there because I don't have a scoop on this. So what I might want to do is consider, you know, is consider getting a scoop before I do the void opals. Um, I'm not sure. I know we're going to launch off this though because I don't want to stay here. So I might switch out, but. Because I, I don't know when I like when I discover this system, it right, it it. Uh... It was with my Explorer and I have a scoop with that, so I don't I don't know. Whether that's going to work the same or not. So I can go towards that jump, or alternatively, I can go to a different station. One that may have, you know, better stuff for me. Anders Dock probably is the better way to go here. I think that's... No, that doesn't have the services I need, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to go... Hmm... Why don't we stop in a system on the way that has good population? Maybe we'll put that in our in our stuff here. So instead of a nun, if they have an economy at all, then they should have a station that I can actually do something in. I would think, but we'll say services. Ah, uh, fleet carrier vendor, black market, interstellar factors. Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily what I want to do. Not sure how to do this part. Oh, I also have this. I uh, I did this. So now I can stay out of the way. Get a scoop. Calling fuel rats is embarrassing. First, I have to get to a station that even has outfitting because I don't have one right now. I would think, though, that anybody that has... Oh, Guardians. Cool. I can find an actual Guardian civilization. I didn't know I could do that. Um, Unktok was a place I was selling for a while. That was great. Uh, I was selling over here. And this, I don't even know how you say this, but I was selling there because that was good prices for a while. HIP 1566 had a good price for a while. Um, Tepanik was a good place. I could just go up to... I mean, this is where all the rest of my stuff was, including my other ship, so I could go there. Um, I already engineered things, so I don't really want to go there. To be honest, I kind of want to buy the Anaconda. But I think I'll wait for another, like, official stream for that. Or something that I've at least announced ahead of time for that. So there's no civilization at any of these points. That's my main problem right now. Is that I can't get civilization here. So none of the places we're jumping to have that. Economy. So these are all the places that have an economy. Therefore, there should be people. Yeah, five and a half million, seven, eight million. These places should have good services. So we'll go to Tachi first. 2.6 million. Communist government. Uh, let's go corporate instead. Same, same jump point, really? You sure? I guess I did kind of find it on the way. No, you're not even, wait, you're totally not listening to what I just said. 
What are you doing? All right, cancel the root, please. No root. No root. A route. However you want to say it. What was the system I just saw? You know, saying there's just too many systems. <laughs> there's too many places to go. We need less places to go, but more to do in those places. I I I think that's yeah. I think that's what we need. Less places and more to do in the places. Uh, 3.9 billion. If there's not a station there, then there's something wrong. All right, let's go. If there's not a station with better services there, with 4 billion people, there better be. Hey, Charlie, nice to see you tonight. What are you up to? Um, I'd like to try core mining tonight, actually, Jason. I'd like to. Um, so right now I'm heading to a station where I hope they have outfitting and I'm thinking about swapping some gear for a scoop because I don't really know how far away, like the, the, the void opal situation, right? I don't know, I'm only using systems that I've found, right? So I'm only using a resource site that, that I've discovered to get it. And so um, the system I'm going to, I don't know if there are gonna be fleet carriers there. I suppose the best way is just to go there and see, but I'd like to be closer to it so that if I go there and see, I don't run out of fuel and can't get back. So I'm gonna refuel at this new system here that's kind of halfway there. I'm gonna refuel there. I'm gonna see if there I can swap something out for a scoop, even a small one is fine. And then we're gonna go to that point and uh, See about doing some core mining for some void opals, I think is what we're going after. Uh, I have that same exact ring, actually. The same place also has low temp diamonds. I'm not sure how those sell and how to mine those, but the exact same rings, uh, set of rings has low temp diamonds too. So if, if, you know, if diamonds are cool, if diamonds are good, then, um, you know, we'll have a place to do that, too. Lloyd Wright Station. You don't have a whole lot of services, man. You gotta have some service. It's gotta be you. That's so far away. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I'm going here. I don't know what's in Lloyd Wright Station, but we're going there. Because it's the only one that's actually close. The other one is 40,000 light seconds. I'm not interested. Also, I've never been here, so I should honk. At least once. Wow. Yeah, I've seen videos of people mining for like core mining and stuff, and uh, they've definitely done a good job with sound design. Definitely, very cool. Uh, so yeah, if you're just joining us, uh, hi, just uh, kind of an impromptu stream. I, I announced it about an hour and a half ahead of time. Um, my my house has been just crazy loud and crazy busy with lots of home improvements and repairs being made. Uh, we got con contractors out here all week and probably the beginning of next week too. Uh, just doing a lot of different odd jobs and things that need to get done. And most of my, is this Earth-like? Excuse me? No, this is Waterworld. This is something. It's certainly something. We're going to scan this. Just because I want the data. Thank you. Onwards. <clears throat>
Yeah, they look like they got some services here. This looks like the kind of place that has services. Oh, the Imperials. The Imperials. Are you guys Imperials? Are you guys with the Federation? Huh? The, or the Imperials? Huh? What about the Alliance? Like, what, what, what do you guys tend to side with? People in chat who play this game. I, ha I don't have any loyalties right now, so I don't care. I don't have any loyalties yet, anyway. Hello, station. Making sure I'm not a criminal, huh? I like the auto dot because it, it automatically rotates me with the mail slot and it just looks so much better having the mail slot just stay lateral to me. Instead of having to jerk myself around like this. All right, keyboard and mouse. Steady now. Okay. Let's see what these guys have. Sound department and support are the only parts of FDEV I have no complaints. Fantastic job by both of them, nice. I side with whatever I'm pledged to to get power play modules. I don't know what power play modules are. If Is there like a TLDR on what power play modules are and what they're good for? If there's anybody I can... Uh, only fines? No? Okay, just making sure. Good. All right, so let me see what you guys offer for ships. The Beluga Liner. Is the Beluga a good exploration ship? It's probably not as, it's not as good as the Anaconda though. That's the problem. But I bet the cockpit's a lot better than the Anacondas. I hear that, I hear that people really like the Beluga. Like flying it as from like the cockpit standpoint, but Orca, Imperial Clipper, requires Empire rank of Baron or higher. All right. Courier, Dolphin. Yeah, all right. They don't have an Anaconda here anyway. Let me try outfitting and see what we get. All right, guys, use Python for mining. That's what I'm using. That's what I've been using. I just made 500 million credits doing that. It's very good. Once you get the heat out, taking a beluga on three major expeditions, including Distant Worlds 2. It's, uh, yeah, here it's, here it's one of the favorites. I think the only thing people don't like about the Anaconda is that giant ass nose in front of their face. You know, when they're flying it, it's just this big ass like the front end of it is just too long, you know? They want to have the that big full glass view, right? Uh Okay, so what was I looking at? Scoop, right? Trying to figure out where to put the scoop. So Void Opals, I mean I don't think we can fill this with Void Opals, can we? I mean, isn't core mining slower? I mean, I know that every piece that you collect is one ton, so I would only really need 224 actual Void Opal pieces, but I feel like... Eh, I feel like I don't need this cargo rack for that. If I'm, if I'm gonna do... Hmm. 
I could probably get rid of one of my collector Olympic controllers, honestly. As slow as it is, I really don't need two of them. Hi, Northern Southerner. Opal go for six ninety four. According to my sheet in front of me, they're they're selling for a million right now. Depends on where you sell them. Like you can have a galactic average, but if you can sell them in a certain place, great. I can sell it for a million right now. A million each. That's not crap. So it's much slower. Uh, core mining is. I think I'll take out the Olympic controller then. I can take this one out. Put a scoop here instead, and uh, I'll just sell it. You can always buy another one. We'll sell this, and we'll put in a scoop instead. That way we don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, where is it? Fuel scoops. Just get a 3A on it, it's fine. No, not this. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. All right, so we can jump almost 35 light years. That's nice. Honda is best to exploration. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And I can get it. I think what I can get, the build I'm looking at anyway, right? I can get Anaconda to 71 light years jump range with two SRVs, uh, two repair modules as well. Um, and then like all the bells and whistles for other stuff like super cruise. I, I would, I would have to want, have to want. Yeah. I really want super cruise assist. Um, just for that jump, knowing like, you know, it's going to stop me on the jump. Right. I think that right there is pretty valuable, but also if you're going really far distances, I like the idea of being able to just get up out of my chair and let super cruise assist just take me in. Cause I like to live dangerously. So, I mean. We can leave this. We'll see if we can fill it, you know? I don't know. Probably not. It would take forever and I don't have enough time to do it tonight. So probably what I'll do is we'll just do a, a few rocks tonight because I, I do have to go in like an hour. So maybe we'll do like a few rocks tonight and then um, whatever we happen to have, we'll take that over and sell it at this cool system. And, um, and then later on, I can always do it myself, but um, it's because we're up to almost 580 million now. And, uh, that's enough to buy pretty much anything I want. So, uh, also sell this because I can make the Imperials happy. 3,200 credits happy. There you go. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Forgot we don't have the we don't have a guarantee of the uh I'm not sure how many limpets I really need. Never done core mining before, so I guess we'll just put a whole gob of them in there. That's fine. I can't imagine any more than that. Uh that's good. Cool. Leave the paint. It's fine. Okay, we're good now. Hi, Whiskey River. Welcome in. Anyway, so yeah, I'm looking at a, an Anaconda with 71 light years of jump range, fully maxed out with kind of like everything I would ever want on my exploration trip. And um, I just don't see any ship that's even remotely capable of doing that. And since I'm gonna be way out in the black and I don't care about large or small landing pads, that's fine with me. Cool. Okay. I am. Oh. I like the way she said lethal force. 
Uh, where's my system? My system that we're going to. Did I mark it as this already or no? No, I never did. Okay, so this is this is called COL two eight five sector V Y dash Q C five through nineteen. Not really five through nineteen, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is where I this is where I figured out where whoops, hang on. I need to go like this. Yeah, so this is where I found it, and um, I mapped this already, and I've seen this, I've scanned this already, because that's why I found it there. Um, and we're looking for A, uh, A5. This is A2, A3, A4, A5. So these rings are the ones that have the good void opals, but I think we'll go ahead and scan these if they're convenient. If they're convenient, um, show me this. Okay, so B is not convenient, but these are all A. So yeah, they're kind of convenient to get to. Yeah, so we'll scan all of them just to see if there's a better spot there, you know? If I can find, there it is. I didn't want to run into the, the station. And now we have a fuel scoop. So no worries. Two, one, engage. Did he have any? Did he do any core mining? What do you, I'm, I'm doing that right now. That's what I'm doing right now. I've never done it before, so I've seen it done on videos, but I've never done it before, so, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Would you ever be interested in a co-op SnowRunner char? I would! What do you got in mind? What do you got? Three, two, I'm not nearly as good at it as you are. I'd have to put a whole bunch of time into it, you know, to to get better at it, you know? Maybe get a wheel. Core mining is okay, just time consuming. I mean, everything is time consuming. You know? The whole game is time consuming. It's just about whether you're having fun, you know? It doesn't have to be a chore. If it's not, If it's not fun, I won't do it, you know? I'm, I'm past the point of caring about money. You know? I don't care about credits anymore. I've got everything I need now, so... I'm at the point now where if it's not fun, I just don't do it. Easy. But I gotta try it to know. And core mining is like... It's the explosion. That's really what it's all about. It's just seeing the explosion. That's it. So, I'm good with it. Been playing on. Excuse me. I had some Indian food tonight. Whew. That's some good food, man. I don't know what it is. I'm. I'm like. I forgot that I could scoop. <laughs> I forgot that I could scoop. This whole time, I'm. I'm flying this. This python, and I had forgotten about the scoop. Hang on. We're gonna go around this star for a little bit, so I can get fuel, because I forgot that I could. gonna go around the star remember I don't have the best heat dispersion in this craft I don't have any heat sinks either so we're just gonna kind of keep it safe that might take a while but we're gonna keep it safe distance will be our protection that we wear just keep that little yellow line Barely in view. Should be good to go. 
There we go. It takes forever with this little scoop. The anaconda will have a, I think I'll put a 7A or is it, yeah, it's a 7A scoop. Big ass scoop on the anaconda. Because one max range jump will take like a third of its fuel. So you want to scoop really fast because you're going to have to do it. <laughs> Forgot he could scoop. We have an explorer in the making. I Because remember, this, this ship hasn't had a scoop. It never had one. We've, we've been going scoopless for so long with this ship. I think that's probably good for now. It's pretty, we're basically full. We've been going scoopless with this ship for so long, so I just kind of... Whoops. <laughs> Alright. Not sure if I damaged anything with all that heat, but I think I kept it under the danger zone. I think we maxed out around 71, 72, so... Seems pretty good. I didn't see my console steaming at all. So that's good. I'm guessing you don't need to go around the star, just get close enough and stop and you still scoop. I mean, you have to be moving. I don't think you can, you, you have to be in super cruise to scoop, don't you? Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Don't you have to be in super, in super cruise to, to scoop? So your minimum speed is like 30 kilometers. You know, 30 kilometers an hour or per second. Yeah, 30, 30 kilometers per second minimum speed. And I could do that. I could go slower like this. That would have probably been less nauseating for you to just do it this way. I guess that is probably a better way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So you don't have to go super fast around the star. <laughs> I just I just usually did because with the other ship when I was scooping, the other ship has a massive scoop on it. So, you know, by the time I got around, I was good. I didn't have to do it anymore. All good. Uh, this is our system right here. 285 sector VY dash Q C5 through 19. We're looking for planet A5, but I think we scan the other ones too, just to see if there's anything different. Cause I haven't scanned those yet. I haven't, I haven't done any surface scans on the other ones. I don't think I did anyway. Yeah, A5 was the closest one. I went and did that, wrote it down and then I had to go. And when I logged back in, I had forgotten what I was doing and then just decided to keep moving. So, yeah. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping. We don't really need to scoop much again, so I'll just let it go. Yeah, like this. We just go faster. That's what my Explorer does right there. I never have to worry about it. It's just done by the time I get around. Great. All right. So, not sure why it says unexplored. That doesn't make sense. Makes no sense at all. I've already done that one. Did I not go over here? I just automatically have this one selected. Uh, well, let's let's select this one. This is A2. We'll go to A2 first. Okay, cool. Rookie 48. Whoa! Hey! Look at you. Good to see you. Uh, hold on. I can't see it. I have to slow down so I don't crash. Uh, Charlie, you look wonderful. Thank you. Glad I could catch a stream. Uh, wow. I, I have to change the location of where that is. It's right next to my light and it's hard to see. Uh, belated congrats on all the recent news. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much for the $25 tip. I feel special. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well too. There's just, there's so much happening. I don't even know what the future is like anymore, to tell you the truth. It's, it's either gonna be just all sorts of dad stuff or it's gonna be a lot of dad stuff. 
that's gonna become the full-time job now is that his dad dad's been my part-time job for a while but I liked it so much I signed on for another hundred years <laughs> or however long I live I guess I'm already gonna be a dad for as long as I live so now I get to be double dad for as long as I live great I know what it's like the first time all I can say is great <laughs> Oh well. Stopped out to say hi, great times. Hi Nick, thanks for coming by. All right, so I've already scanned this and there's just that little hot spot. So, okay. So we're looking for, I thought they were all really close to each other. What happened? A4. Yeah, A4. You were all so close together. I looked at, I looked at the system. Or I looked at things, you were all really close. Bom. This is an anarchy place, too. Because there's nobody here. Not a single soul. Is that, is that the way it is with every system? Every system that has a zero population is always anarchy, right? I mean, why would it be anything else? Why would it, why would it have any governmental power if there's nobody there? I don't know. I, I'm just speculating. Definitely be excited to play some co-op for sure. I'm used to playing solo, so not sure how it works. Found out recently it's a cross-platform game, so anytime you want, we can play. I'll probably take you up on that, man. I don't, um, I don't know when yet, right? But just keep pestering me. That's the best way to get me to do anything. You just ask Bluesy. That ask, as he'll confirm. The best way to get me to do anything is just to pester me. Because you can say, do this, and I'll be like, okay. And I'll forget. <laughs> and then say it again, okay. And then I'll forget. So just, you know, get at me and be like, hey, when are we going to do that? Oh, right, of course. I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, when are we going to do Oh, I don't know. <laughs> just ask over and over and over again. It'll, it'll work. Eventually. It, it won't work until it works. All right. Okay, I scanned A4. And I apparently don't remember what's here. There's a whole bunch of spots here, so let me just take a look at A4 really quick. Um, Alexandrite. I wonder why I didn't write this down. Because it doesn't have anything I want. Lots of Alexandrite. Uh, Muscov There's two Muscovite spots. Hey, we could try that. I'm, op I'm open to Muscovite. They're not overlapping, but they're pretty good. I mean, they're both right here. You know? What do you think? Do we do some muscovite? You do that? First, you gotta figure out like where where to sell it. So muscovite it can only be mined with core mining. That's my understanding anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure my, I'm pretty sure that's the way it is with void opals as well. I, isn't it? Is it that way with low temp diamonds, or can they be laser mined now? I don't. I don't recall. Do you know that I need to slow down? But we'll uh, we'll check out the muscovite. I don't know. We'll just do that. All right, there we go. Please use the left panel more. For what? What did I do? I can see them. They're right here. You saying you'd rather me scroll through a list than just look at them? Come on now. Let's be reasonable here. I mean, they're right in front of me. I don't have to look at a list. I can see them. They're right in front of me. LTD, laser, and core. Okay, so you can do laser with it too. That's interesting. Well, let's do, we'll do Muscovite instead of Void Opals for now, because it's right here. I'll just kind of set myself down in the, in the middle of this thing. There we go, right on the queue. Bang, bang, bang. We'll let whoever wants to come and scan me, scan me. Go ahead, come and scan me. I know you want to. 
Come on, pirates. Come and see how good I look. Because you're always here, immediately. You have to wonder how they make any money. Just hanging out around here. You know, they're gonna tease me about how do, how do you people feed yourselves? I mean, like, actually, you know what? I might have something of value. I never checked. I never checked the refinery. I mean, I usually go to sell with the refinery completely full. So, but I, I never actually checked the refinery before I got here. So that was probably a bit of a goof. All right, cool. What kind of ring is this? It supposedly determines the type of asteroid you want to look for. I don't know. Um, I, I think I can handle it though, Dragon. I got, I gotcha. I think I got it. Uh, all the ites are money. Muscovite, Alexandrite, Gendrite. I actually have the, the Grand Diderite. I have. Yeah, A5 has a really good hotspot for that. I don't know if that's good money though. Do I have to core mine that? Granditerite, Granditerite, whatever it's called. I got a really good hotspot for that in this system. It's just over at A5. So, this one's A4. I guess A4 is pretty good too, though. I probably should write that down. I never actually wrote down A4. I'll write that down underneath it. Muscovite. Mus. Uh, gravite, and then uh, A4 is where this is, okay. If you're just joining us or you're not sure why I'm writing things down like this, um, I, I've made it a personal goal to never mine. Uh, I, 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 will, I will look up things on Inara and stuff to sell, but I will never look up a location to mine a resource. I'm only going places I've discovered them. And that's just, that's just me. Um, so I'm writing them down, I take notes. Um, I've got some notes on other things I've seen. I've got notes that I've been writing down. So I got a pen and paper ready to go. I'll do the same thing with, um, I'll do the same thing with, uh, Star Citizen when we start playing that. Um, just so I have my own notes and I'm, you know, I don't forget things. Cause I, that game, I'm going to forget things constantly. So I really don't want to forget things. Okay, we'll head this direction, just kind of generally away from the pip on the uh, on the area, but I already know that there's still a pirate here. I've only been scanned once. I kind of would actually feel more comfortable if I got scanned twice. Because scanning me once, I feel like I should be getting scanned twice. Um, but there's no reason why we can't at least look for a good rock while we're waiting to be scanned. So why don't I switch to... This is off my... So I've, I've got my my group set up like this. Group one is the Prospector Limpet, all three mining lasers and the collectors, okay? That's for mining, well, laser mining. If I switch to group two, now I get the pulse wave and my prospectors again. So I can pulse wave and prospect on the same group. Once I found the rock, I switch again and now I'm on my seismic charges and my abrasion blasters. And um, and that's it. And then the final group after that um, just switches them, which I didn't. I don't know why that is. Why do I have a group that's just switching them? No, I don't. Oh, right, 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 right. So um, so what I do is the seismic charges are placed and the abrasion blaster is there. But I also need the limpets. But I don't want the limpets going out when I'm pushing the seismic charges. So I wait till the chargers are there, then they blow up. Then I switch to this one where the collector limpets can come out as I choose for them to come out. And then I have the abrasion blaster on the primary. And so that's how I've set this up. So I should be able to do, you know, stuff like that and just kind of get a feel for where they are, right? Um, I'm also going to switch. I don't need, I really don't need my engines to be very hot here. So I'll switch all the power kind of to a system for now. And I don't really think any of these are necessarily what I'm looking for just yet. Uh, we'll head this, let's... Maybe we'll head away from the planet and then we'll work our way towards it after that so that we don't overlap. So we put out a pulse. You know, that's not bad. Not bad. It could be one. 
Maybe? I have lots of prospectors, so I suppose I could check it. It doesn't look like it's got the... It doesn't have the little sort of like blackish marks around it, and I'm not sure this is the right shape for it. I'm not sure that's the right shape for it. I think that one over there is a better looking one. Uh, this one in front of me here. I think that one straight ahead of me is a better shape for it. Um, so I'm going to actually check that one out instead. Because that looks pretty good. For what I've, what I've gathered anyway is the shape I'm looking for. This looks like it's might, ha might be a winner here. Let me just look for one more time, hit you again. It's not bad. I mean, I can prospect it at least. It's worth prospecting it at least. I got tons of limpets. What you got? Uh, no core. Okay, so wrong. This is why it's good to, you know. Learning. Not quite. Asteroid scan complete. Got tons of limpets. So, we'll find them. Even if I don't get it the first, second, third, eighth try, we'll get it. No, you're pretty bright. You're pretty bright. You look like you're, uh, maybe. Kind of went too fast, though. Let me back up a little bit. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, calm down, engine. Maybe. I said I got like 180 limpets. Send them out. Let's see what they are. Um, I don't see a core in there. No. Wow. Wow. Okay. No core. Well, let's keep looking. We'll get it. We'll figure it out. Looking for a certain shape, I know, but until I see it with my own eyes, you know. Looked like it was kind of close. Too green? Oh, okay. Color matters. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bear with me. First time. Sometimes, sometimes people get training wheels. Sometimes you just kick them into play and say, "Go get the ball." <laughs> I know those two analogies really don't match up, but just go with it. <laughs> all right. Nothing's really all that bright that direction. I mean, that one's pretty bright up above me, but maybe not bright enough. I mean, it's, yeah, eh, eh. Is that too green? Is that too green as well? Yeah, I don't know if that's really too... I don't know if that's really bright enough. You think I'm doing awesome? I appreciate that, Hans. It's good encouragement like that that drives me forward, you know? Not so much of a hot spot, though. What, do you get, like, one rock in a hot spot? That one's pretty bright, but then again, there's not really a whole lot around it, so maybe it just looks bright because there's nothing else lighting up. Not wrong, though. It is kind of bright. It's just not the right shape. I don't know. Should I hit it anyway? It's Isn't it kind of small? I feel like it's too small. 
It's bright, but it's I think it's too small. I don't know. I'm gonna keep looking. I don't know. I don't know about that. I feel like I feel like what I'm looking for would be bigger than that, you know? But then again, I have a lot of limpets, so maybe I'm like I should just hit it. I'm just gonna hit it. It's pretty bright. It's not the right shape, but I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Who knows what they're doing with updates these days, right? Maybe they made it different shapes. No, there's no core. Okay. Are you too green? I think I have a risk of going in circles here, so I probably already saw this one. But let's just look at it. Let's observe together. No. No, I don't think so. That one down there is brighter. Or maybe it's not as bright when you're close to it. I mean, I feel like it gets less bright the closer I get to it, you know? Hmm. You know what might work better? Maybe? I don't know. Let's try it. This might work better. You'll see what I'm saying in this. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. Okay. I say we give go about like this, like 85 or so, right? And then we just sort of do this, you know? And just look around in third person view. Like we get, this, you can just see everything this way. Look at this one. Maybe that one's it. That's pretty bright. It could be. I could hit that one. I don't know, we'll see. It's pretty bright. I don't know if it's like it's bright, it'll blind you, but it's it's bright. Brighter than some of them, anyway. See what it is. If it has a core in it, will it specifically say core in that description? Because I don't want to. I don't want to think I'm like. I feel like it will, but I don't want to like be passing these up, thinking that there's no core when there is. You know. There's something behind this one. I think there's one behind that. It'll be in blue. Okay. It'll be obvious then. Well, this so far this musgravite hotspot doesn't have any freaking musgravite in it. So much for it being a hot spot. You're right, this is a lot slower. <laughs> why do people why do people core mine when they can laser mine platinum? <laughs> like, I feel like laser mining platinum is ridiculously easy compared to this. But, I mean, if I fill my cargo hold with muscovite, you know, I'm gonna be turning in 200 million instead of 65, so that's probably why. I'll just hit it anyway. I got limpets. Hit it. See what it's like. See what it does. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. It's got kind of an egg shape to it. Kind of. Material content medium. Nothing. You're pretty green. It's 
the only one lighting up. Most don't do it. I feel like, like it's, I get that the resources are, you know, very valuable compared, like per unit compared to platinum, but the ease of access on platinum just makes it better, I think. But we'll see. I'm gonna hit this one too, just because. Just because. I'm gonna hit it and then look this way. There's a bright one over here too. Maybe take a look. Yeah, no, nothing in there. Let's try this one. It's pretty bright. Are you, are you my magic ticket? You look like an egg. Kinda. You're lame. So lame. Hmm. Hmm. Ore mining. Core is more fun. Is it? <laughs> All I'm doing right now is scanning rocks, bro. <laughs> like, are you sure? I feel like all I'm doing is scanning rocks. I know, once I get one though, it's gonna be very exciting. Very exciting once you find one. I await that excitement. Whenever it happens. Screw it, I'm hitting it. I got lots of limpets, remember? I got 162 limpets. If I have a hundred, what? What did you hit? I have 161 limpets. I was going forward. It's not gonna be this one. It's not bright enough. But you know what? Whatever. Never know. Never know for sure until you hit it. Huh? Nothing. Okay. He's like, you'll know for sure if, if you've done this before. Okay. Asteroid scan complete. Hmm. That one's pretty bright. But again, I, it, bright compared to what? I don't know. It takes about four hours for 500 tons when I mine tritium for my... F it's worth the wait. Four hours for 500 tons. That's for your fleet carrier though, yeah. That's pretty... Dude, that one looks really bright though. Doesn't that look brighter than the others we've seen? I feel like that one is brighter than the others. But not on the top though. It's just bright on one side or something. I don't know. I'm hitting I'm hitting it. Come on, that's gotta be one. Doesn't look like it's the right shape. It's gotta be it. Come on. Hit it. Tell me it's a winner. Yay! We got one! Alright. Now I gotta figure out what to do from here. So I switched to my seismic charges. And okay, so let me see if I can recall how I've how I've been trained via the wonderful videos on the internet. Each of these fissures have various different strengths. So there's a low strength, medium strength, and high strength. I'm gonna just say things out loud as I remember them, and if any of that is incorrect, you just let me know. But I think I got most of it right. So what we're looking for is not service deposits. What we're looking for are fissures. Fissures, you, low strength. Uh, we're looking for our, that's an average strength. Okay, not medium, but average, fine. And uh, we're also looking for a high strength one somewhere. So we've got these various different fissures. I've got night mode on, which should help in seeing them. It kind of does. And what I'm looking to do is basically charge up the seismic charge and send it into the fissure. And that starts a countdown and things are gonna blow up whether I'm ready or not. So I gotta kind of figure out where I'm gonna go and do it somewhat quickly, somewhat quickly. It doesn't have to be really quick, but like, you know, this is a high strength one. So that's pretty good. And that's the low strength one. I can get away with low strength ones. It just needs more of them. So if I can maybe get 
if, if, if I understand this correctly, I just simply need more of them. But if I can find, like, maybe two high-strength ones, that seems like it'd be better. That's an average strength. I can live with that. So maybe we hit the average strength. Maybe. Let's try it. Push it in there. Okay. So that's got a yield, and there's a timer. Now, that timer, what I want to do is I want to send the charges into these strength fissures, but this is like how much of an impact it has. So I just sent a fairly decently charged one into an average one. So this high strength one, I'm going to send probably a lower strength one. So I'm going to kind of maybe only charge it up a little bit. There it goes. And then I want a low strength fissure. This average one's probably fine. Get around the other side of it here if I can. Oh, I just crashed into an asteroid, which, you know, that's why I have my power to shields. And then we just kind of pop that in there. And now we're getting into the point where we got a little bit in the blue. And that's what we want. But I think I need just a little bit more strength, I think. So I'm going to go low strength and I'm just going to give it a little love tap. Just a little one. Okay, I went way too high. So I think... Now what I can do is I can go into contacts and I can maybe disarm. It didn't work. I can't disarm. Oh, two, one, disarmed. Okay, so, we're, I mean, we're kind of in the blue. We're, we're kind of in the blue already. I don't. I don't think I have to go any further than this. Do I hit it again? Just like a really little one? I got 15 seconds, so I kind of have to back up. Detonation in 10 seconds. I mean, you know? Detonation failed. I think I just messed that one up. Yeah, I messed that one up. Okay, so now I'm too hard again, so I need to like disable one of them. Wait, why is it? Why is it showing? I don't get it. Why is it showing that it's red now? I, I the other one's detonated and it didn't work. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Disarm. Disarm. Okay, so let's start over here. Because I don't want to, like... Your new one is counting down. I know, but, like, it still showed intense. And I didn't want it to show intense. So, I'm going to try it again. So, what I'm looking for here... And maybe I maybe I lose access to those fissures if I if, I don't know how that works. So maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Well, I guess we'll see. I have another fissure here. I don't have anything armed in there, so got to do it after each explosion. Hold on. Wow. Seriously? That's one charge in a low strength fissure. This one's uh this one's very touchy. Alright, so maybe I can I don't know if I have any fissures left. So if I disarm the fissure, then I lose the fissure. Is that how that works? So I only have like one average strength fissure left, looks like. Yeah, okay. So I need to like try to aim this and do a little bit better on this. I'm gonna back up after I get them placed. They're not they're not gonna blow up right now. They're not gonna blow up. It's there's no countdown. There's no there's nothing left. I don't have to back up yet. I'm trying to find it. Come on. What hell's my rock? Do the fissures like appear later or do I just lose it forever? Cause that looks like another fissure right there. No, that's a sub that's a surface thing. 
So this is like my only fisher left. Charges still remain and we'll set the others off. Wait, so it's going to be ruined anyway? They're disarmed. How will it set them off? When you disarm a bomb, I guess... Well, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I answered my own question. So, like, what? Am I just screwed now? Whatever. We're going to see a glorious show then. Detonation sequence initiated. I get it. So, basically, it just blows up and I get nothing for it because there's too many charges in it. Like, there's no way to reverse the charges. There's no way to, like, go back and start over, huh? All right, fair enough. I guess we'll get nothing for it. <laughs> Scanner reading slightly high. Just slightly, yeah. Eh, just slightly. We'll just detonate it now. Detonate. Detonation in 10 seconds. I mean, it looks like there's at least something going on there. It doesn't look like a total loss, actually. You know? Is there at least something in there? Yeah. There's at least something. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, next thing to do, then. Is to... Uh, Wheel on in here. And we'll just put out one limpet for now. And it can go out and get things that it wants to go get. Oh, come on now. Spaceship. Forward, please. Okay, and then I got to use the abrasion blaster and all those other little ones. So I'm not, it's not a total loss. It's just not nearly as good as it could be. You know, that's, that's, that's fine. First time, that's fine. We learned a lot. I learned a lot with this. I learned a whole bunch there. And we'll let another limpet out. I don't want it to take forever, but just one limpet out is fine. Loosen that one up. Over to this side. You got to move around a lot in core mining. Like, this is where having good shields comes in because you're going to be moving a lot. Drone error. Deploy cargo hatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Is that all I got? <laughs> I did go way overboard with it, so <laughs> that's probably all I get. Uh, I don't see any more in there. So now I just made a whole bunch of little asteroids. Okay, no more collection targets. Let's take a look. I basically have full power to shields, so you know when I when I bump into something. Not so much if, but when. Yeah, it seems like that's everything. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, first rock. You know? You know? Contacts will show you surface deposits. Okay. Where? Oh, that's just the hot spot. Okay. No. No, I think that's... Huh? Oh, hi. I think that's it.
Yeah, I think that's kind of it. Okay. Okay. First rock down. Uh. Yeah. We now return to our regularly scheduled scanning programs. Not bad. Um, could definitely be better if I hadn't blown the rock ups way, way too high. But hey, that's the that's the rub. That's why it's hard. You know, that's why it takes skill and perseverance and experience to do it right. Right? That's where it's all about. Uh, so we got a total from that rock. We got a total of four. <laughs> Four muscarite from that. Okay. All right. This is good. This feels good. Okay. I feel like we should probably get... Uh, I, I read on the internet that if you do it perfect, you can usually expect to get between 11 and 15 per rock, which would be much better than four. So, yeah. All right, looks like we got, I think we've scanned that before. Yeah, I think we've done that one before. We should keep moving the same way we've been going. Going back just means scanning the same rocks over again. I don't think we should go and do that. I actually kind of like the overhead view I was doing earlier. How much is in the refinery? Um, uh, 81%. So about five, I guess. It's probably closer to having about five. That's pretty bright. What do you think? It's worth hitting it? Pretty bright. Nothing. How about you? How about you? No? We can look. Hmm. Maybe? Got those black veiny things that appear like that. I kind of like it. Let's hit it. Yeah. I like this one. This one looks brighter than the others. This is one like one of those things that's not like the others kind of rocks. Disappointing, my friends. Disappointing. That looked pretty dang bright to me, but okay. Never mind. Here we go. Popcorn. Popcorn has so many different shapes that doesn't tell me anything. Like, popcorn shaped is really hard to visualize. They can, popcorn can really be any shape. You know, it's actually many different shapes. If you talk about the ones that have like the little kernels and all that on it, like that's icy rings. Not here. And that one that we just did, I don't really think that was considered popcorn shaped. Yeah, what Jasper said. Seems more like an icy ring deal. Eh, looks a little small. I'm gonna go with no. Doesn't look bright enough to me. Man, it's really hard to find Muscovite, isn't it? 
Is it easier to find the void opals? This one's got an interesting... This one's got a similar shape to the last one, actually. I'm actually just looking for the ones that have the same shape as the one I just did. I don't know. This doesn't look quite as bright, though. More potato shape here. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, potatoes come in... To be fair, like, potatoes come in a lot of different shapes, too. But they have a general shape, and that's kind of like this. Are you in a depleted ring? I have no idea, actually. That's a good question. How would I find that out? Do I have to... Can I find that out with... Oh, I, wait a minute. I think I remember... You can find this out from the system map, right? Wasn't this detail in the system map? Oh. I want it to be like this. Pristine reserves. Pristine reserves, it says. Pristine. Damn it, pristine. <laughs> Ring quality doesn't matter for core mining. I don't know. All I know is it says pristine reserves, and this is not very bright. That one's a little brighter than... Ooh, ooh, hey. You there. You lighting up like a Christmas tree over there. Now, you look like you've got uh, a little more enthusiasm than your asteroid brothers and sisters. Ah, as I get closer to you, though, I don't think so. The closer I get, the more dim it feels. You know, like it, it lit up before, but now it doesn't seem like it's that bright at all. Ever done laser mining? It's so good. I mean, if we were laser mining, I feel like I would have already had like 60 million by now. Like I'd be on my way back turning it in by now. My, my, my 60 million runs only take me between 60 and 70 minutes usually. Today was a little longer because it just couldn't find the rocks for some reason, but like right now. Hmm. What about you? No. Hmm. This is just something people do in their spare time. They're just like, I want to do something. I want to do something where I just scan rocks all day. Do you have an activity like that? Oh, you, my friend. You're looking for the explosive action of core mining. Oh, goody. What do I get to do with there? Well, you'll spend 10%... You'll spend 10% of your time blowing up asteroids in glorious fashion. 5% of your time blowing them up. But you will spend a good, solid chunk of time scanning rocks, let me tell you. It's... That sounds like your cup of tea. And you should try core mining. Uh, that shape's not correct. Yeah, it, it was rotating. It kind of... Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't have any... Com as soon as I tur saw it turn a little bit more and it, it it had a different shape than I thought it had, then... From now on, we do one collector limpet. Just one. We don't need more than one. I still have 154 prospectors, though. That one is bright as hell. Look at that. Look at that. That's a jackpot, right? Come on. That thing is... That thing is like... Somebody is, is in the opposite lane with their high beams on. Come on, man. That's gotta be one. That thing is... I, I have... My studio lights are not as bright as that rock. That's gotta be it. Send it. Send it. 
Prospect it. Look at that thing. Oh, look at that thing. I can see the fissures. You can see the fissures from here. You don't even have to look. I don't even have to prospect it. Look at all those little tiny things on the surface. Come on now. Let's go. Come on. That's what I thought. All right. Now, let's not screw this shit up. <laughs> let's not screw this shit up. We are going to go high strength fisher okay we are gonna go low strength fisher Ooh, I think I missed uh no I think it uh I think it let it in I just gotta love tap this right I just gotta do a really small love tap on this like just, just a little bit, you know. These are all surface. There he goes. High strength. Nope. I want to do low. I'm not gonna do a high strength. Where's the low ones? Give me a low one. Are you a low one? Are you a low one? Low strength. That's beautiful, baby. Let's go. We are done! Back up! Just tap it in. Just, just tap it in. Be the ball. Be the ball. I'm way too close. Back up, I said. Way too, way too close. Power to shields? I think we're good. Nope, right here. I think we're good. Stop. Ah, are we ready for some glorious action? <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. Detonation in 10 seconds. Listen, the sound of victory. That's so good! Oh, I love that sound. That's so fun. That's worth it. You're right. It's worth it. Limpets! Go get the things. We have work to do. <laughs> ah. All right. Limpet will go get the things. And the opposite side, or what? These surface things are gonna stick around for a while, right? I don't have to. Like, I'm not not in a hurry to get them, right? Man, what the hell! It's so crowded in here. All right, you know what? Full. Everything to systems and weapons. Screw the engines. It's too, it's too fast. I'm trying to figure out how to maneuver this. You gotta know how to control your ship a lot better when you do this kind of mining. That worked. Cool. Oh. Other side of the rock, dummy. Other side. Other side of the rock. There we go. There we go. Break me off a piece of that. Uh, I'm gonna put another limpet out. Screw it. That's on the other side of the rock. 
Plus, they're, they float away, and I don't want them to get away, right? So, probably should have, like, two two collectors for this. I think is a good... That's a good way to do it. I mean, I could do more, but eventually they're going to run out of things to do, and then it's like I feel like I wasted it. I almost hit that limpet with my abrasion blaster. That would have been funny. I just send it across the... Send it across the ring, slam it into another rock, you know? Other side. Yeah, I think it's on the other side. Both of those are. find this to be a much better haul. Wouldn't you say? Much better than four, huh? This is why you don't core mine in an anaconda. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a great, I think this is a really great ship. I just, I feel like the Python is like the almost, I would almost go as far as to say it's the perfect ship. Like for, uh, well-rounded anyway, like perfect well-rounded ship. Very cool. I'm having a lot of fun in this ship. Like, I like the Asp Explorer, too. I, I like them both, but... This Python is a really fun ship. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's great for combat, but... I feel like... I feel like it can do almost anything I want it to do very well. Best, maybe not, but it can do everything I want it to do very well. Python is a fantastic ship. Can't stand it. <laughs> Can't stand it. What does that mean? <laughs> Are you just like a perpetual complainer, thud? <laughs> oh, it's a great ship. I hate it. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Was it around back in your day? Is, was it a, is this a, is this a new ship for people? <laughs> I'm mostly poking at you, but I am curious on how that combination came to be. Okay, well, I think, uh, I think, yeah, we fully, fully harvested that. That was pretty good. So, uh, we're now up to 20 units of muscovite. So, yeah, about 15. That was a pretty good haul, man. 15 from one rock. To fill our entire, uh, hull, though, I would have to play this for a very, very long time. <laughs> I would have to be here for, you know, six hours at this pace. Um, you know, because it takes forever to find a rock. But still pretty good. You know? And now I, I'm getting a better grip on what I'm looking for. I know about how bright they are now, you know? It is, is a bit more obvious. A lot of rocks out there. So many asteroids. None of them lighting up. Such a shame. I think we'll do one more and then I'll call it a night. Because I do have to go. So I think we'll, we'll try to find one more. Um, and if we get to eight, if we get to 11.30 and we haven't found one yet, then I'll just go turn it in. All right, let, let's go 11.20. If we go to 11.20 and we haven't found anything, then I'm just going to go and turn it in. And then we can get a feel for what a full haul would be like in this ship. But I still have 150 prospector limpets. So, like, limpet-wise, I'm good for... I could be here for 12 hours, and I'll probably be fine. Good morning, Clock District. You've missed the explosion. The fascinating and awesome explosion. The wonderful... The wonder that is the core mining detonation. But don't worry. Hopefully, I'll get another one for you here shortly.
Hopefully. Oh, you make a rock go boom? I did, yeah. Um, we found one rock. Uh, the very first rock that I had, I overcharged it. And then I, I went ahead and I tried to disarm the ones that I already put in it. But then people informed me that those ones, even though they're disarmed and they won't blow up, um, like on a timer, they'll still blow up when I blow up the rock. And so, oh, oh, oh. Oh, hello, you. You look pretty dang beautiful, don't you? Don't you look like a wonderful bag of fun? Do you still look like a bag of fun when I get close enough to you? I don't know. I think it's getting dimmer as I approach it here. We'll see. Looks pretty bright, though. I think it's got a chance. It's at least worth a prospector. Hmm. It was at least worth a limpet. That was a pretty bright one. Oh? Are you just... Are you just masking the candy? Are you just the guardian of the riches? Is that what you are? The big guy was just... His job was just to be in the way. So that I can't see this gem. Python's a fantastic ship. We just don't get along. Naked mine. Oh, sorry. Naked mine. Named mine. Redheaded stepchild. Nothing wrong with it, but... Gotcha. Gotcha. I can't believe that didn't happen. That one was super good. I thought that was right on. You're pretty bright. Hey, there's a few bright rocks around here. One of them's got to be it. What are we mining? We are mining Musgravite tonight. Um, we're not going to do a full load because I don't have time. But um, I swapped out one of my Olympic controllers for a scoop. So we can't get stranded anymore. At least not with this python. But, um, ooh, no, it, it definitely got darker got darker as we approached. I think it's too small, but I gotta get closer to it just to see. I know, they're both... They're both okay. I mean, they're both decently bright, you know? I think they're worth a limpet. Although I'm pretty sure the other one is what I want. I don't think it's this one. I think it's the other one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be this other one over here. I think it's you. But maybe not. It's, they have a way of faking me out right now, you know? Not used to looking at them yet. What's up, chicken man? Looking for rocky mustard. Yeah, basically, yeah. The fishers are a dead giveaway. All right, so I, I don't even need the prospector limpet. I could just look for the fishers. All right, so I'll look for the fishers then. Because I could kind of see those before. That last one we blew up. I, I was like, you can see the fishers before I even, before the thing even hit it. I was like, yeah, that's got to be it. That one's pretty bright. Well, maybe. Maybe. Can we see fishers? I don't see any fit. Well, no, I don't see any fishers on it. I don't know, man. I mean, it is pretty bright, but I'm not seeing any fishers. Well, there's some pits and stuff in it. 
Whatever. We're not sticking around long enough to use all these Prospector Olympus anyway. <laughs> Go. Just do it. Not going to use them all. Okay. I didn't see any fishers. I have my doubts. Now I have it confirmed. look bright enough. Well, those two rocks. Yeah, those are two rocks. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. You might have... I think I see fissures on that. I, I think I see fissures on this. And either that or it's surface deposits. But I, I think I see it. You see, if I see fissures on this. I'm hitting this. I think this might be one. Really? We got surface deposits? Yeah. You got stuff on your surface. I definitely saw that, but... Wasn't the right thing. surface deposits they weren't they weren't fissures I saw surface deposits not fissures lame oh this one's saying hi to me maybe 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 come on now be nice to me I'm trying my bestest. Hey, Clint. Good to see you, dude. Didn't know you were here. What's up, man? You're pretty bright. I don't see... Well... Whatever. Hit it. I don't know if I buy it, but I'm hitting it anyway. Nuke the rock. We're gonna blow it up. I just gotta find the right one to blow up. I know they all look the same, but they're not. A very a very small percentage of them have something very valuable inside, and that's what we're trying to find. I'm trying to find the ones that have something very valuable inside. Are they ever like, you know, Two right next to each other kind of thing. You ever get that happen? Is anyone so lucky? That looks like it might have some stuff on it. Maybe. It's pretty bright. Nothing. Bada boom. Yep. That's what we're looking for. I'm looking for big bada boom. I have somebody behind me. I'm not showing up. They were there and now they're not. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should go... Well, I was going to say maybe I should go to the other hotspot, but that requires me to enter Super Cruise, which, of course, then requires me to exit Super Cruise, which then, of course, brings the pirates. So, no. No, I think we just stay in this one. Although I might be getting too far away. I mean, they're pretty big hotspots, though. I landed right in the middle, so going this speed, I find it hard to believe I would be able to leave it. That one's pretty bright. There's also another one up there that's pretty bright, too, so I'm keeping an eye on that side, too.
Nope, that's not very bright anymore. But this one still is. This one's still pretty bright. I mean... Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Sad times. Well, I'm gonna give it two more minutes and then I'm gonna go. Two more minutes, find another one that is suitable for what we wanna do. Which is blowing up a rock. And then we leave. Just because I got I got more limpets than I'll ever use, so go. Tell me what's in that. going in circles? No, I'm going in the exact same direction I've been going the entire time. We're not going in circles. I've been heading this direction relative to the planet pretty much the entire time I've been searching for rocks. I use the planet as my guide. green not enough yellow almost feel like I'm getting out of the hot spot but then again I've only really found two rocks so I don't know what a hot spot looks like but two rocks in this whole thing doesn't feel very hot to me you know expected the hot spot to be a bit more hot than this I'm just gonna shoot all these guys and see if one of them sticks you got fissures on you, or surface deposits. I mean, you got one of them. I don't know which one it is, but we're gonna find out. You got something on your surface. You got something on your surface too, but you're not very bright anymore. Yeah, you're not very bright. But whatever, I'll hit you too. Cause I'm running out of time, so I'll hit you. That's not it. Okay, I'll hit that one now. Huh? How about that one? Is that it? No. I feel like the Joker in that scene where he busts through the party. He's all like, Where is Harvey Dent? Do you know where he is? Do you know where he is? Do you know where he is? Just goes through that whole thing. I feel like that that's me right now. Going from rock to rock, asking if they've seen it. They've seen the Muscovite. Where is Muscovite? It's a mildly warm spot. <laughs> Apparently hot spot means you have two chances. And if you go Muscovite mining and you bring more than 60 cargo space, you're just fooling yourself. You're just like, yeah, sure. You can go Muscovite mining with all those cargo, cargo bays. Absolutely. You have fun with that. <laughs> like, this is way slower than platinum. If I had to choose core mining or laser mining for platinum, uh, I go platinum every time. Every single time. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky. That one's got stuff on the surface, so maybe that one will do it. That could be a winner. It's got marks on the surface. It could be surface deposits, but it was also pretty bright, so we'll see. Come on! 
See this? It was there. It's just there. This is like, uh, uh no, it's, it's, it's yeah. Core mining, I don't think you return with a full load. I just, I, I think I would core mine if I had like five hours to play the game. But in that moment, in that time, how much would I really haul? You know, if I fill my cargo hold with muscovite, then yeah, I'll make a shit ton more than I do with platinum. But I mean, how long is it gonna take me to fill my cargo hold with, with muscovite? It's, it's gonna take a very long time. Where platinum is in like almost every rock in the hot spot. You know? It's a very long time. Like it's just I'm just getting very unlucky or what? I don't know, but I don't think I don't think people who do core mining bring a huge amount of cargo space unless they're planning on being there all day. Because remember, like once you jump, now I'm going in a circle, but I'm also going wide. So like I haven't seen this far out yet. So I'm kind of, kind of going out away from the planet now to see if maybe there's something out that way. But I mean, yeah, if you're core mining for cash, don't. Pretty much, that's that's disappointing because I heard everybody always raves about it. I thought it was like seems like this thing that everybody just loves to do and that it was profitable and everything. But this doesn't feel like it. There's just not. They just don't spawn enough frequency. They need to spawn more rocks. You know. Like, I think they need to up the percentage of rocks in a hotspot by, like, maybe 2% or something, you know? If it's, like, one out of every thousand asteroids, make it, like, three out of every thousand asteroids. That's a 200% increase. You know? I think that's... That would make it viable. Core mining is not viable. I don't, I don't, I don't buy it. It's a viable thing. You know? you're gonna make money mining I mean I've made 500 million platinum mining uh, if I had spent that time doing this instead I think I might have made like 200 million like may maybe if that amount of time wanted one more I was being very picky I know it's 1130 but I was being very I just can't believe I haven't found another one you know we've been in here for what 90 minutes been here for like 90 minutes found two of them that's that's not enough frequency to be viable maybe people who core mine do you, do you laser mine in the same areas? Like, is the goal to, you, you look for cores, but while you're looking for cores, you're also just like, I don't know, jamming for gold and platinum and stuff in the meantime, is that how it works? You gotta be like laser mining it while you look for cores. Cause that makes more sense. That, that would make more sense. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I see what you're saying. That See, now that's making more sense. Core mining is making more... Because if you're just going core mining, if you're just going out here with the idea of doing this, you're not making nearly enough money. But I, I, if you're out here for something else, the, I guess the thing to look at then is can muscovite... Like, you know, cores like that, muscovite and, and void opals and things like that, can they spawn... Um, like in any hotspot, like could I have some in the in the platinum hotspot while I'm doing platinum? Because I just I just figured they was so infrequent that it wasn't even worth doing it. You know, the time that I would be spending pulsing would be better spending you know drilling into something else. You know.
Ooh, that one's pretty bright. What about that one? Come on. Don't disappoint me. Don't get dimmer as I approach. And I don't know if you have the right shape. But you definitely got stuff on the outside, so I'm going to hit it. You definitely got stuff on the surface of you. Come on. How you going to do me like that, asteroids? <laughs> Come on. All right. I, I think it's I think it's probably I think it's probably time to go, unfortunately. I, I wanted to do another one. I really wanted to do another one. But I'm just not... Uh, I'm just not seeing any pop up, and it's... Well... Oh, did I just... <laughs> I just hit my own prospector. I actually kind of like when that happens. I mean, I get to watch the prospector just float in front of me, lifeless, as it just tumbles. I shot it out, and then I rotated my ship at the same time, and I just basically yeah, smacked it as I let it out. So, Also, doing it in a pristine ring is better. I'm in a pristine ring. I'm in a pristine ring, but like it, it doesn't seem to matter. And actually, a lot of people have actually already said in chat that it doesn't matter. Ring quality doesn't matter for core mining. I'm in a pristine ring, so it's... I found two in the last 90 minutes in a pristine ring. I'm gonna say it probably doesn't matter as much. Because this is... You know? That's a shame. I really wanted another go boom. These ones aren't bright enough, but I'm shooting them anyways. Because you never know. Yeah, you probably do if you're experienced, but I don't. I don't know. So I'm going to shoot that one, and then I'll go this way. If it says good things, great. We'll turn around. If not, we keep going. Probably want to look at this one, too. We'll look at this one, too, just because. I mean, that one's super bright, right? I mean, it's super bright. But how many times have I seen a super bright one not be what I wanted, you know? It's lame. To see something this bright and have it not be it, I feel like there's no hope in my world. Come on. Look how shiny it is. But it won't be it, because the ring has been disappointing me all night. <laughs> come on, crossing fingers, come on! Come on! Show me! <sighs> I'm going to be persistent. I want one more. I want one more. Just one more. This isn't the right shape, but it's very bright, but I don't think it's the right shape. Well, maybe it's the right shape. You know, it could be the right, that that's, looks like it's kind of the right shape. But of course, of course, no. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen anything in this game before. Can you give me a bunch of rundowns on what's happening? This is not an accurate representation of how fun the game is. <laughs> not. Uh, I'm trying something I've never done before. And this has got to be it. Look at how bright that rock is. It has to be it. This has to be the one, guys. Look at how bright that is. Don't tell me that's not bright enough. That thing is bright. Now come the frick on. 
It's got fissures on the outside. I see things on the outside. Come on now. Come on. Let's go. One more rock. I said we'd find one more. All right. Now, now it's an accurate representation of the game. <laughs> now, now you can see an impression of the game. Uh, okay. So now I want to, I'm going to go with, I kind of want to go with low. But I'm going to start with average. I'll start with the average fisher first, I think. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, this is a low strength one. So we'll hit this too. Okay, now we need a low strength one and we need a baby touch. That's a high strength, high strength. Give me a baby touch. Wow, really? Everything's high strength now? Y y really? You gotta be kidding me. They're all high. You suck game. <laughs> I guess we do a really baby touch and a high strength one. I got time. Maybe one of these will work. I. Wow. They're all high strength. There it is. All right, let's get a baby touch on this. Didn't quite, I babied it too much. Too much babied. Okay, very nothing touch. Got it, let's get out of the way. Do like a nothing touch in the, in the high yield. All right, we're gonna take our seat. Ready for the show? Now we can see the light, the thunder, or feel the thunder. We gotta back up, too close. Let's get about here. Power to power to shields. I like this distance. This is a good distance. This is a good distance. Let's listen to the magic. I can feel it in my heart. <laughs> yes. Uh, it, it's it's so it's messed up because like it's worth it, but it's not. But it is. But it isn't. But it is. <laughs> uh, it is. But it isn't. <laughs> it's like after all this, after everything. Come on, break that off. There we go. Uh, so if you're just joining us, what am I doing now? Uh, there's spots. So we broke the rock open. All the deposits are on the inside of the rock. We broke the rock open. Um, my little limpet drones are going out on many adventures to go out. Right, and they're just grabbing the the little pieces and bringing them back to my ship for me. Um, but there's still parts that are stuck to the rocks, and so I'm using this little abrasion blaster to find them and break them off, basically. So that the limpets can grab them and bring them back in. That's the idea, anyway. This is our last rock of the night, so I might as well just max out my collectors for now. We only have three three limpets. Three limpets at a time. Because remember, I gave up a limpet controller so that I could have the scoop. Come on now. Uh huh. Shields and weapons? Don't run into the limpets. Go. 
go get this. Collector limpet expired. It's okay. We have more. We can build more. What's that? Uh, any other little specs, huh? Supposed to use the contacts tab. Still many, many limpets, musket, muscovite fragments to go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's a good haul now. If only we could find more of these faster. Then we'd make so much more money, you know? So much more. We got up to 32 now? Gosh, so much more. I wish I could log off. You know, and then and then log back in, and then the, the rock would come back, right? <laughs> like material farming. <laughs> yes! Now we're in the spirit of the game. Frontier said it's okay. <laughs> uh, the boom in a movie theater would be insane. Hook that up. Go back in the stream. Hook it up to a big-ass sound system and just... Boom. It's good, man. I know it rumbled my ears, and I got earbuds. All right, let's make sure we got all the fragments, because there might be some left on the... Uh... There might be some left on the rock, so... Make sure we got it all. Uh... Get all of it? I know, proximity alert, I know. Because I'm trying to fly close. Eh, I'm not seeing anything else. I know what you're about to say. Use the left panel! Use the left panel! Okay, seems like it's fine. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, right. Like we're gonna find one more. All right, let's uh, let's go up top. Let's put all of our power in our engines here real quick and uh, go up top. Maybe we'll just wander the top for a bit. Never know. Maybe we will find another one up here. story is whatever you make it it's this is the nature of the open galaxy 400 billion star systems to explore 400 billion chances to make your mark and the story is whatever you say it is yeah i doubt we're gonna see anything Whoa, that one's pretty bright. Should we go down and check that out? Pretty bright. This way? I think it was this way. I know I'm addicted. I don't think it's bright enough. Screw it. <laughs> I don't think it's bright enough. But I'm gonna shoot it anyway. Because the explosion... Like... It's like, while I am so conflicted, you know, I'm so conflicted because it's like the process for searching for these rocks is some of the most boring activity I can think of in the game. Like there's just nothing fun about it. But as soon as you find one, you light up like, like it's Christmas and you just know what's coming and you just can't wait. <laughs> it's, I'm so conflicted. Like, why you gotta do this to me, game? Huh? Why you gotta make this? Can't you just have the whole thing be fun? Like, I would rather farm at Dav's Hope than than search for these rocks. That's. I would rather scan wakes, I think, than search for these rocks. But then, I find the rock, and all of a sudden, I'm like, 
Oh boy, there's nothing I'd rather do in the whole wide world. <laughs> you know, it's enough to rejuvenate the interest forever. What have they done? I don't think that's gonna be one, but whatever. Yeah, it's not. Ugh. Should we turn it in? Aww. But mom, I don't wanna. Look how bright that is, but it's so small. It's very bright. Maybe it's not small. Maybe I'm just far away. No, now it's getting dimmer. Well, is it though? I just don't know. We got all the power in the engines, but for some reason I can't. Oh, my fuel scoop. That's why. Oh, okay. The, car the cargo scoop is slowing me down. I'm like, why am I going so slow? Yeah, it's not it. I don't think so. Watch, after all this, we get interdicted and killed. <laughs> Look at this, the Muscovite hotspot. I'm, I'm 120 kilometers away from that thing now. I traveled a long way looking for these rocks, and we found three in 120 kilometers. That's embarrassing. You shouldn't even have a hotspot for Muscovite. Are the Void Opal ones any better, or is it still the same kind of thing? imagine it's just the process and core mining in general is just the same thing. Everybody does the same thing. Whenever you find a rock, core mining is the greatest thing ever. When searching for the rock, it's the most boring thing ever. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, God, why couldn't they get a good mix on this? I just, I won't forgive myself unless I hit it with a probe. I have to hit it with a probe. It's bright. I have to hit it with a probe. I don't think it's the right one, but I, I'm never going to know unless I do it. So here I am hitting it with a probe. Okay. Turn them in. We want to see an interdiction. <laughs> That's what I say to that. Someone slap the back of this man's hands. <laughs> if you think seeing an interdiction while I have 30 million worth of muscovite on me is, is good, just wait until we get interdicted when I have 50 million on me. Right? I don't think it's the right color. It's too green. I shot it already, so we'll just let it go. All right, are we satisfied? Are we good? All right, I will fly out of this belt now. And unless I see something really bright and obvious, we will just leave. Let's go. I'm done. Let's go. Hard points away. Uh, so let's find a spot to sell this. Muscovite. Who's buying near me right now? Crap. I don't even know because I'm not used to this area. 
Uh, let's see. So I want to go to... Uh... Where I'm even looking for it. Commodities? Yeah. I want to sell Muscovite. And I want to sell it near my current system, which is... Well, uh, two eight five sector V Y dash Q, uh, C five dash nineteen. Okay, let's see who's buying. Who wants my muscovite? Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. We're going there. Hello, we got ourselves a hot place to sell right now. Hopefully, it has, as, as long as it takes to get Muscovite, I'm really hoping that nobody's, like, you know, deteriorated that price. No way. It's not there. Don't, don't lie. Stop it. I hate this map thing, honestly. Bad. We need to fix it. There. We're going. We're going there. That's our destination. Rock and roll. We're going there to sell Muscovite for 840k each. For 840,000 each. Oh my goodness. Eight hundred and forty each. The price was updated four hours ago. Four hours old. With as, as long as it takes to get Muscovite, I would hope the, the demand hasn't deteriorated in four hours. Let's go! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Get out of the, get out of the star. Good. Charge it up. Where are we going? We're going to Odegobo. Odegobo. I'm grooving now. Huh. He's like right above me, coming down. He's like right on my ass. Well, I've, I activated my frame shift driver earlier than I wanted because I saw him right behind me. And I'm like, uh, I'm gonna activate now. I don't care about the heat. <laughs> frame shift drive charging. <laughs> Having the scoot feels better. And you know, I, the route, I, the route said I can make it anyway, so that makes me feel even more better. But if I was, you know, if I was gonna do core mining more often, uh, yeah, we would be using the space in that larger, the space for that larger cargo bay would be a scoop. See anybody on radar yet? Oh, 
Somebody just came in. Hi, Wake. Maybe not. It's white, so I don't think anybody's here. Yeah, we're good. I can linger there a little bit longer. We're going to China. We're looking for a, a station called Swigert Hub. Apparently, it's six light seconds away from the star, which seems really close. <laughs> that seems like it's danger close to the star. So, you know, six, six light seconds. That seems crazy. Where are you? Oh my god, where is it? Where is it? Swigert Hub. It's so close. Why are you so close to the star, sir? I mean, I'm good with it. You know, it means I don't have to travel very far for interdiction's sake, but like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> you just like it, you like the heat? And I have enough time to slow down. Yeah, look at this planet it's next to, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Slow down. Ugh. Cause I'm not used to it being this close. Oh, don't you dare get interdicted because you overshot this. Don't you dare get interdicted because you overshot this. Come on. Almost. Almost there. People are coming. People are coming. They're very close to you. I don't play no games. I'm here. Hi, Mom. Dude, this is a sweet look. Look at this view. Dude. Dude. Look at this madness. There's so much happening here. This is sweet. Oh, this is cool right here. That. Oh, oh it's so good. Docking request before you get accidentally shot down. No, I won't get shot here. The station doesn't care if I sit here. I'm not in anyone's way and I'm far enough away. I, I, they don't care. They just don't want me hanging around in the mail slot. That's... Like, I've spent enough time around around stations already scanning wakes. I know what I can get away with. I'm not even seven and a half. I can't even request docking. I'm too far away. So, it's good. It's fine. What you should be saying though is, quick, get in the station before the prices change. That's what you should be saying. Before somebody takes their T9 and dumps a load of Muscovite into the station. In some other instance of gameplay. Yes, that, that's what we should be doing. Cause I've got like, what? Oh, damn near 25 million worth of muscovite on me, and this is not even remotely close to full. I mean, I, I have... This is like, what, 18% full on my cargo? You can scan me all you want. I'm in the safety of the mail slot now. for pad 37 where are you at i see it oh 
Okay. Satisfying. Be more satisfying if I actually get a good price for this. Hey. Got my power on my shields. I'm I'm good. Give me a good price. Give me a good price. Muscovite, go. Uh, eight twenty-eight, baby. Thirty million. Eight twenty-eight each. Boom. All right, we're up to 610 million balance and credits, and I think I'm gonna be using that scanner while I'm doing plasma mining, or platinum mining. I'm gonna be scanning things just to see. But, I mean, 610 million so far after about 150-ish hours of gameplay total, so 150. 50. I'm making like 3 million an hour. <laughs> Which is not bad. You know, beginner player wise, that's not bad. So, uh, yeah, my math skills are great. 4 million an hour. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this here. I know it was an impromptu stream. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I hope you've you've had fun with me anyway. I've had a lot of fun tonight. Um, yeah, special thanks to the members of the channel who helped me do this. God, I want to say help me do this full time, but I, I can't say that yet. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, for those of you guys who support, thank you so much for doing that. You never have to. You never will have to, but I always appreciate it very greatly. Rookie for the $25 tip tonight. That was fantastic. Uh, if anybody's interested, Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like the stream. And, you know, if it tickles your fancy, the join button down there is too. You can get access to emotes. And if I ever get to making videos again, when my kid goes to school, which is next week, then you'll get access to see them early before they publish for the public. Okay? It's been fun. It's awesome. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see ya.